Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, happy Easter. It is technically Easter Sunday today, I believe. So a happy Easter to you. And well done for getting here on time. I'm just enjoying my coffee. Before we begin supermarket shopping. Jimmerick, thank you for six years, sir. Happy anniversary. 72 months. Thank you for your six plus years of support, Jimmerick. York Sandy, thank you for 52. ASC, thank you for 26. Where can we buy frozen pizza? Actually, Baz, my next purchase is going to be cleaning products. I'm not going to do frozen pizza yet. I'm going to do cleaning products. Um, I've got the shelves for them down here. I've got the shelf space. What I need to do is buy that expansion and get some more shelving. Also, I think I might... You see this shelf here? I might use the whole thing for milk because they take up quite a bit of space. So I might have to buy... Put that on a different shelf. Is my current thought. Because they, you can't get many items on the... Why have they not filled that in? What a bunch of scumbags. You can literally get another one in there. Mr. Kenko, good morning. How are you doing? Beer goggles. Thank you for 66 months. Do you really need two shelves of bread? Um, Probably not. Probably not. I suppose if I rip the label off. Oh, I can't. You see, this is the other problem now, isn't it? I can't stop them from stacking that shelf. And I can't rip the label off until it's empty. I'm the only shelf open Paul today. Morning, and chat. How are you today? I am good. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Kieran. We're the only shop open here today. Open Easter Sunday, people. Come on, come and get your stuff. Well done, Keiko. I forgot. Mr. Borpro, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for gifting 10 subs. Welcome, guys. If you just got a sub, please give Borpro a thank you. Happy Easter to you. Nice little Easter egg from Borpro. Okay, let's get this place open. We need to bring some cash in. I need to check if I paid the bills. I also need to see how much an expansion costs. Uh, bills, pay the bills. Management, growth, right. 1300 that's that's fine actually that's less than i thought it would be okay i'm gonna uh buy that i think we might need interesting that you can't buy a half shelf isn't it i reckon we need a couple of spotlights down there Two, three shells. I think maybe four shelves. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I need that ticker tape to put up. Off, it, like, under renovation or something. Also, I should probably organize this stuff a bit better now. Asta. Hmm. I think we'll turn this. Let's put sugar down here. Actually, I've just thought I don't need to be able to see what's available anymore, do I? So I can back to back shelving quite easily. We'll put the sugar and the tea and coffee. Oh, come on, game. You see, most supermarkets wouldn't open Easter Sunday. And they would use that time to move shelving around. But not here. We stay open on Easter Sunday and move shelves around while you're trying to shop. Because that's efficient. I, don't, I need to think about where the cleaning products go. Okay, you got your pasta, your bread, your oil, sugar and coffee. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense.
get some more shelves. So we're about two there. Not sure what we're going to do with this bit. I think we might have to put some more fridges over here. Can you not stand there, please, love? Thank you. Get another cheeky fridge in there, I reckon. Maybe a double if... Oh, no, we probably won't get a double. Probably have to be a single. We'll buy a single fridge. I think we can move the flour near the bread. But be open on the other special day. Oh, yeah. We'll be open at the big C. Absolutely. So that's... I think that's too big for the... Annoyingly. I might get another single fridge. Put the single there. Put the other single here. That might work. I might put the other till there instead. Just just moving your desk, Jeff, okay? Ah. Let's try that. Let's get two small fridges. Uh, Tech Pixel, thank you for three months. We'll get two of them. How many have we got at the moment? Four big shells. Yeah, well, cleaning products are here, I reckon. Might have to not use that fridge for a while. Just use two little ones. Wait, if you pick that up, can you put it in a box while it's still got stuff in it? <coughs> I did ask for them, Baz. It's like being in a hospital. Uh, shelf. Six of them. The chase. Excuse me, coming through with the shelf. That's a big queue, actually. I think cleaning products might go over here. It is getting dark. It's actually annoying that you can't move that light switch. I think we may need more of these, but we'll see. You got a spare light going on. Oh, look at that. Perfectly in a line. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got a spare light. We'll put it here somewhere. <clears throat> can you actually... Wow, you can as well. Could actually put two little fridges there. Well, I'm not sure I need that. That's a pretty good use of the space, actually. Yeah, I'm thinking about emptying this fridge out into that fridge, though. The trouble is, trying to make that happen is tricky. I'm going to have to, like, have boxes of the stuff so I can unbox and box. Actually, no, I know how I can do it. Guys, you need to work quicker. 18 hour days. You've seen what I did to the beavers. Don't think I won't do it to you.
while I put the double fridge there. Because I've got little fridges now, and I like little fridges. I think I had a double fridge there and it messed up. Do you know what you could do? You could put a fridge like here. Like just as you come in. Like fridges flanking the doors. Drop the box in the storage onto the floor so the workers do not. Oh, you can... yeah, but I think we can just do it anyway at the end of the day. That frees up another shelf over here, basically. Get one more there. <clears throat> I was in your store earlier and I was entering a customer. Rocked your stuff for the fridge door. I'll be filing a lawsuit against your supermarket. <clears throat> I have given that the the legal two meter gap. So if you fell over that fridge, that's all on you. There are no cables here, no trip hazards. It's all perfectly safe. GCFC John, thank you for 91 months. I mean, I could just move the fridges over there, but. Meh. This is the fridge section. I could even move that shelf over there and put the fridges here. There are options. It's 9pm, they've finished. Right. Now I need to work out what we're ordering. Move things around. See, they're not... Is it just the sugar they don't top up properly? It feels like there are certain items and the sugar keeps not being topped up. I hope that's sugar. No, it's not. I reckon we get some cleaning products ordered. Get one more shelf in here as well. We should get snacks and put all the snacks here near the till. <laughs> one product not found. Wait, what? One product not found. Which product are we not stocking? Maybe you're moving shelves. Hmm, I suppose so. Something was marked as expensive, so I need to figure that out. Could have been that. Eight eighty. There we go. Right, it's the price is set. <clears throat> right, time to restock the shelves. Blimey. It's quite a bit of stuff has gone here. Uh let's see. We need three oil. We need normal milk. One normal milk. We need um, 
One apple and two orange juice. This is three boxes of powdered milk. That's ten. Go. Uh, one, two, three boxes of eggs, I think. It, no, hang on. Two bo Four boxes of eggs. And two cheese. Well, I'm going to get a mod, I think, that basically allows you to scan the item that you want to order. One that removes the 10 limit, I think. What's that? That zap. One, two, three, four zaps. And then that's one normal cola. One cola and two bread. Where's bread gone? There's bread. One, two, three, cereal. Three cereal and four pasta. Blimey. Is that three coffee and two tea? Three coffee, two tea, two flour. Yeah, fluffy guy. I'm getting to the point where I think I'm going to go for the mods. <laughs> um... I think that's everything as far as normal stock goes, isn't it? So let's get that all ordered and on the shelves. See, this part of the game loop... <laughs> this part of the game loop needs sorted out, doesn't it? There's a couple of things wrong with this. Firstly, all the boxes are chucked on the road, which is just nonsense. And secondly... I have no way of loading these onto a trolley and bringing them down, you know, four at a time or something. There is a scanner mod, yeah. I think that part of the game loop needs to change. Because as the supermarket gets bigger and bigger, that is not going to scale, is it? Well, it reminds me of the old Paperboy game. You remember the Paperboy game where they would just drive past and throw the newspaper? It's a bit like that. They just drop your goods by driving past and opening the door and pushing stuff out. A good game in the day. It, it was in the arcade, but the, the the ports to the various home computers were not that great. Although I think they were very different. Like the um, I think it was the Commodore version was quite good, but the Spectrum version was terrible. The NES version wasn't bad. And I should be able to get these guys to help me if they're doing nothing else.
I mean, even if even if it just dropped them in piles, like all your cereal boxes, all your whatevers, you know what I mean? Just line them up. You can at least move stuff en masse a lot easier. Even that would help. Uh, where did I put powdered milk? Apparently ordered too much cola. There's an, a mod to order boxes on delivery. No way. How stable are these mods, Alex? There's one thing I wouldn't want is the game to become unstable just by using them. Can you buy, buy a delivery dock? Not currently. cheese? I don't remember ordering cheese. Yes. Yes, I did order cheese. Do you know what? Venrith, you're not the only one. The... the the graphic for oil, to me, looks like orange juice. Like, it does not look like oil. Oil doesn't look like... like That's literally orange juice. Okay. Now then, let's buy a license. Oil bottles like that where I live. Not where I live. Like, if you look at bottles of olive oil, they're, trans they're translucent, aren't they? They don't just look orange. They're kind of like a oil coloured. <laughs> Light passes through it. Light pass doesn't pass through orange juice. Right, growth hiring licenses. Bring it on. Bleach cleaner, dishwasher tablets, hand soap, shampoo, and toilet paper. We're going to get that one because that sounds fun. Now, the problem is, I don't know how big these items are yet. So maybe what I should do. I imagine dishwasher tablets are quite small, they're also very expensive. Look at that. These are quite bulky. Let's get one, 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 two, two. And then we'll get another one of them, another one of them. That'll do. The bleach is big. <laughs> big bleach. Okay. We're going to put the big bulky items down there. Wow. That's going to need an entire shelf to itself. Considering you only get four of them in a box. <laughs> that's a lot of shelf space. I don't think that's toilet paper. I think that's kitchen roll. This is bleach, I think. Same problem, but at least there's eight in that one. Blimey. Oops. You got 12 in that, so that can just be a single column, I reckon. Sometimes customers will buy three. Is toilet paper a different thing? Because this is kitchen. This is kitchen roll, I think. I presume there's toilet paper as well. But that one is like Cushel kitchen roll. Clean dish. Might be able to get away with a half one on that one. How big is that? 
Okay. I reckon we could probably get away with that for now. We may need to expand storage. That's toilet paper, not kitchen roll. Okay, right. No, you're correct. That is toilet roll. It's split in half. Yep, you're correct. That is toilet roll. Let me put that there. Okay, we can get away with a half shelf on this. It's got doo doo as a logo. <laughs> Bit of a giveaway. <laughs> Do that. That. I don't know where these go now. There go. Okay, so if that's all the shelves full in that regard. I think. Now I've got to decide where they all go and then stock the shelves up. Right. Where do we want this stuff? Flower and toilet roll? <laughs> Let's put toilet roll out the way. And, uh... So Jeff will now move the other one. The other bulky item is this cleaner. Bleach, is it? Okay, that can have one column. This is... What is this? Is this shampoo or something? I feel like flowers in the wrong place now. Bread and flour on one shelf only. Yeah, I think you're right. I think bread and flour can go one only. Trouble is... I'm in a fight with these guys. As quick as I try and unbox that, they'll try and rebox it again. Right, I need a flower like that one that's half empty. Wait, what? That's not the box I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Hang on, I can't put this down. Why can't I put that down? Get rid of the label. Remove the label. I can't put the box down. This is ridiculous. You literally can't put the box down. I don't get it. How are you supposed to do this? This is actually ridiculous. Now he's going to stack that up. I can't remove the stupid label, so now he's going to come back and load that up. Seriously, explain how you meant to do that. No, if I sack him, it'll cost $100 for each staff member. It literally costs $200 to sack them and rehire them. Do you know what? <laughs> yeah, I gotta run the stock down just to move a stock item. It's stupid.
Well, I don't know. It wouldn't let me put the box down. That was the weird thing. Like, when I pick that up, I can put it down here, and I can put it down here, but when I was trying, when I did it, it wouldn't let me put it down. Right, I'm going to remove flour. There you go. What's going on with that? Why is that one special? Why is that one special? Can't put that one down. That one's not been opened. Can put that one down. It, it's got to be a bug, right? It's got to be a bug. And now I have an insane amount of flour on the shelf. I don't know how you meant to solve that. Right, is that everything out now? One, two... I'll put this out. Does the game have sugar? Sugar's for sale here. That's sugar. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six new items. So if I pick that shelf up and then box it up, and then drop it. Where does all the flour go? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That's a good one. <laughs> That's magic, that is. Right, eight boxes of toilet paper. Why can't I order that then? I haven't got enough money. Rip! Apparently we only have $300 to our name. Oh well. I suppose we're opening then. There's going to be a lot of complaints about stuff they can't get. Also, I wanted to put that there as well. Well, yes and no, Captain Flint. It's good to know that you can just move a shelf, but when you box it up, it should kind of box all the items up as well. Have a set prices. That's a very good point. Almost got free stuff then, didn't I? Hey, that's 320. Don't you be thinking that's free. 320 is on the label, pal. I don't have to sell it to you for less. Don't go picking it up while it says zero on it. I know your game. Come on. These tills need to ring. I need the cash. Right, I need a mo what's that bleach? I need bleach or toilet cleaner. What is that? Toilet cleaner. Definitely need toilet cleaner. We definitely need toilet roll. The rest is not so bad. shelves holy moly let's 
get these guys working. Should I take the bottom one? Whee! <laughs> that was like that trick, isn't it? With the um, the plates on the table. And you pull the, the, the cloth away. And they all stay there. I just thought we'd get enough money to get all this stock in. So basically, I'm going to have to run the bread and flour down just so I can change the, uh, the shelving. It's ridiculous. Four toilet paper. Five toilet paper. <laughs> Three bleach, couple of cleaner. Uh, where does this one go? We're good for toilet paper. As fast as I'm stocking this, <laughs> it's basically selling. Yikes, we're out of that. What's that? Hand oil. We're out of soap. Four of them. Uh, another one of those, possibly. We need a couple of those. Wait, why have I got it there and there? Get the bills paid. Can you be 24 hour the boost starts flowing? Sadly, no. The shop always closes at 9 o'clock. I'm not used to where these things go yet. We're going to get complaints about lack of hand soap. No, you may not talk. But thank you for asking. You're playing Supermarket Sim Level 9? Can't keep up with this. I think we need some mods. <laughs> I think I need the scanner mod. And I need the no limit mod. So I can order more than 10 at once. Because frankly, trying to keep up with this is getting mad now. You know, you can go over to the other hill. I'm just saying, bro. Look, there's literally nobody over there. Nope, the game does not support multiplayer. Sadly. All right, let me get a uh, toilet roll so we can label this up.
I should probably... Do we need more bleach though? I don't think we do. Like, there's only two on, on each shelf though. I think we should have had three toilet rolls. do it that way I did I'd like to swap them around but it's such a pain not enough expansion allowed no you can expand it's just that you can't really expand quickly enough that seems to be the issue also I'm getting a bit cash strapped now I don't really have enough money to reorder much the stock I need like the milk's almost gone look It's massive pork. <laughs> no, the cashiers don't ever get quicker, I don't think. You just have to have more of them. Yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look now because there is some mod that I need. The melon loader pack, apparently. Come to Alex. Let's have a look. Toby's Melon Loader Pack for Supermarket Sim. It's a pack for Supermarket Sim pre-configured and ready to use on Windows. Blimey. I have to do it in the break or something. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a faff. Yeah, you can get mods. Do the customers even reach one register in the corner? Yeah, they do. Right, I'm back up to $1,300, which is nowhere near enough to buy the restock. Like, seriously, I need some more cash. Have we got any flour left? Can I? No, that was silly. Now, if I could put that down, I could remove that label. Phew. <laughs> We've got rid of that. Actually, could have put toilet roll opposite that one, couldn't I? Literally, you have to run before the restock. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three, four. See, as long as you can put the thing down, you can you can do it, but when it bugs and you can't put it down, it's annoying. You can't put it down if the restocker has used it. Why? Kevin, 1980, thank you for 58 months. John E, thank you for 81. Infernal, 59. Mark Elwak, 114. Valmert with 93. Robo Joe with two years. Happy anniversary, sir. Dom Taylor with 35. GCFC John with 91. Volpadrak, 44. Did I miss anybody? Tech Pixel, maybe, with three months. Thank you very much, guys. That restocker is not practicing proper manual handling. <laughs> Dude. Uh, that's the least of the problems. 
Right, let's let's finish the day. Income is properly down right now. Look at this supply cost. Bought so much dock. Solar, uh, cola soda has gone up. So we can now get away with three dollars for that. Let's put the lights on. Right then, we need toilet rolls. Eight of them. We need whatever that is. That green lid thing. That one. Shampoo. Two of them. Uh, what else do we need? We need dried milk. See, look, I've got cash flow issues now. We've got so many items. I've had to buy so much stock that we genuinely have cash flow problems. And I've managed to go through the whole game without getting a loan. So far. Now nah, it's toilet roll. I made the mistake of thinking it was kitchen roll, but it's actually toilet roll. You, you can tell the difference when you wipe your bum with it. <laughs> That's how you know. Although one sheet does plenty. That's all I've heard. You're undercutting yourself. What do you mean, J-War? As in um, the prices are too low? You think I should charge more? What do you think I should charge then? I don't know if they're bugged out or not. I feel like they're not. Oh, there you go, finally. Double MSRP? Right, are you speaking from retail experience? Or are you speaking from playing this game experience? Because I'm pretty certain if I double the MSRP, nobody will buy anything in this game. Neither. So you speak from... <laughs> you... <laughs> so you're telling me how to price my products based on no experience of retail and no experience of playing the game. Is that what you're saying? And I should listen to your advice because? <laughs> right, hand soap. 8%. Dude, I can't be like working out 8% of a product price. Come on. Look, 10% of that is 38 There's a mod, isn't there, that sets the prices, pups? Isn't there a mod that will set prices automatically or something? Can you, like, pick a percentage? Four oh four. Pups not found. Right, we need some of the uh, cleaning stuff. Jeez, look at the price of this. This is what's cleaning me out. Dishwasher tablets. Flipping ridiculous. I reckon there's good money to be made out of these. I reckon $22 easy. I might just charge a flat 10% just to make it easy on myself.
Can confirm the store delivery model allows you to have boxes delivered straight into your storage. You see. Alex, how faff is it to get these mods running? Which is the one you're on about? Store delivery. Dude, you've linked like 50 million mods. Pause restockers? Are you kidding me? Hang on. So, so what do I need? I need to download the mod loader pack. Melon loader, is that the one I need first? Okay, now it says it's loaded stuff. It says zero plugins loaded, and then it says melon assembly loaded, delivery organizer, pause restockers, portable scanner, stock manager, store customizer. Yeah, so if I press the pause key, restockers pause will finish current job and wait. There you go. So he's now working. So when he's done that, he'll stop. Right, how do I bring up the um, scanner? How do I bring up the scanner thing? Also, how do I customize my um, store? Middle click on a label. If I middle click on that, what does that do? I've done anything. Store customizer. Oh my god, what are we calling it? <laughs> Floor ceiling colour, store ceiling colour. Better than Aldi. Did you install the portable scanner into Bepin X plugins? No, I put everything into the mod loader mods like you said. How do you save this? wall color I can get rid of that horrible yellow there we go hey <laughs> see why is that not a good thing i only saw one screenshot alex i still only see one screenshot oh we stupid discord the way it's presented it that's what it is hang on One second. Mods. Portable scanner. So that goes out of there and into Bepinex. God, this is a faff. Plugins. Right. No, literally, like the way it, show, it just shows it like as if it's one screenshot, but there's actually two of them. Okay, let's try this. If I click that. Oh, your beauty. That's six. And he's put them in the basket. Look at that. That's beautiful, that is. That's a thing of beauty. Look, I need one of them. I need one of them. God, that is so much easier. <laughs> Stop control just became easier. And one of them, a couple of them. And there we go, a basket full of stuff. Purchase. Isn't it nice having a little scanner? Why is that on the floor, though? How is my bin juice there? Oh! <laughs> oh! Tell me that that mod... It's not a thing of beauty. Instead of having your stuff thrown all over the pavements and the road, it actually stacks it up by box size. Yeah, Kenko, I think the um, the mod that I'm using, 
that lets you scan removes the limit. So I can go around and basically scan all the items I need. Uh, my head's been reset. Where does milk go? There. Where can you get these mods? Nexus mods. Products must be. Oh. Store customizer, background color, gray, store text color, go yellow, store floor color, yellow. <laughs> That's not yellow. <laughs> I like that keep out sign, brilliant. Squirrel's cash. <laughs> Let's get these things off the ground. Get them inside before somebody walks off with them. Thanks. I've only got one. Yeah, happy Easter. Yeah. Two lots of Fredo eggs. Just want to sort that flower situation out. I might move the powdered milk to here. And then put the flower there. Now install store delivery and you get the option to have it delivered straight to storage. I kind of feel like that's one step too far. Although there was a mod, I think, that Alex posted about. Um, what's that smart pocket boxes? Are you tired of keeping it one copy of every box size listed? All boxes from your pockets. Oh, I see. Interestingly, I can now do this. All the boxes I can basically move now. Whereas before I couldn't do that. Squirrels nuts, but no nuts for sale. That's true. We'll call it cash then. Shelf color, white. Shelf slot. What does that mean? It's a shelf slot colour. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Storage background colour black. Oh, does it mean that thing? Oh, uh, yeah, that's cool. Can you change the floor? Floor color. Yeah, but that's not changing anything, is it? <laughs> oh, it's wicked. I love the fact the mod allows this, but they've not put it in the game yet. That's mental. It just like tinted the floor blue. That's brilliant. That's such a completely different feel to the, the building now. Completely different. I need to change that title color. Um, background color. Go with a blue. Keep out, we'll go with red. Just 
squirrel's cash. Look, that's brilliant. We've got branding now. Okay, let's uh, skip the day. Woo, we made profit. Uh, cleaner and eggs are down, cheese is up. Is it that cleaner? Keep forgetting they put eggs in the fridge. Uh, you have to change price every day. So there is a mod for that, but yeah, there are a few prices tweak every day. Okay, now we've got $2,000. So we need... One, two... Seven of them, I think. One of those. One of those. Probably won't be able to afford any there. What's the current? $540. Is that an update when you do this? Oh my god, that is so good. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. $1,400 for Chase. And outside is going to be neatly stacked. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the delivery man who did that. <laughs> of course, I'm going to pull the box at the bottom. Let's go. <laughs> That's amazing. It's all in order as well. It's beautiful. Instead of it just being a chaotic mess of boxes, I actually get some resemblance of... of order. I know, yeah. I kind of feel like that might, one, might be one step too far, having it just auto-deliver into... into storage, you know? Although maybe something that let you pick up a few boxes at a time might be handy. Yeah, like a trolley. It's some kind of trolley that would let me move a few boxes into the storeroom and then just unpack them. I'd be fine with that. can sort the flower out yet. It's the move in the stock that gives you motion sickness. Yeah, well, you probably want that mod then.
Uh, random B, thank you for seven months. Need to pay the bills as well. I love the way they come in in order as well. It just makes life so much easier to stack. You figure out where the first item goes and then you just rinse repeat. Get my cardio in. You need to wear like a, a fit watch or something when you do this. I think, you know, it probably should go off box size and box weight, right? You can't just have it so that you can pick up four of any boxes. That's crazy. So got loads of flour left. Oil's getting a bit low. Getting a little bit behind with the bills, though. You put the blue cleaner on the wrong rack. Uh... Yes. I did. Thank you. Which means I just ordered the wrong amount of stuff. Yeah, delivery is quick for now. I imagine they'll change that in the future. Yeah, I've got far too much of this now. <laughs> oh, well. Mistakes were definitely made with cleaning products. I dare you to play Fortnite on your next stream. Why? Why would I play Fortnite? Is it because I get guaranteed 5,000 viewers? Too much milk as well. You'd rather play PUBG. I think I'd rather play PUBG if I'm honest. <laughs> under 20 points like you. <laughs> That's savage. I don't even like the, the art style of Fortnite. And I don't like the concept of building and shooting either. So, apart from that... <laughs>
They introduce a no build game mode. Hmm. Because, like, whenever... I remember when it became popular back in the day when it first came out. I remember seeing, like, just tuning into a stream and watching what was going on. And it was complete chaos. It was, like, complete chaos. Just people jumping around, just building things. And as soon as they... As soon as you put down a wall or something, if you say, oh, I want to build a wall tile, it takes it a few seconds to build. But you still can't shoot through it the moment you put it down. So people were just erecting these structures that weren't built and then jumping on them and, and you can't be shot through them. It was such a weird concept. Shampoo is too expensive for me. Well, you're supposed to be worth it, love, aren't you? 650, that's not even 10%. There you go, 640. We've dropped the price just for you. You're obviously not worth it. That was a glitch in Channel 2 S3. Fair enough. I don't know much about the game. Two to the power of six hype. 64 months imp. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your five bit delivery and tier two. I don't feel like the profit is enough. I think the game restricts your profit margin because they won't pay more than about 8% over retail. And retail fluctuates, so sometimes you lose money, sometimes you gain money, depending on price fluctuations. But generally speaking, you can't get more than about 8% out of people, which is crazy for retail. Getting though with the flower, it's taken a while though. It's not really well. It's kind of it's more blue than purple. I chose blue, but I'm not going mahogany. It starts off mahogany. I've gone for a blue theme. That ceiling's supposed to be white, believe it or not. I'm sure I chose white on that. Yeah, ceiling white. Store floor colour, blue. There's a different kind of blue. There's that blue. It's more like that. It's like a turquoisey colour. Thank you. Oh, great. We lost $33. <laughs> pasta, milk and flour is up. Dishwasher tablets down. Right, pasta... milk and flour what was the one that went down the dishwasher tablet I don't believe you can own multiple stores now.
How many boxes go is it? Not many. This is going to get expensive. Well, once you start to automate stuff, Poil, then yes, I agree. It starts to become uh, more of a, ma a store management thing. Oh, that box stacking mod is a thing of beauty. What a toilet rolls go? There they go. I just like the fact we can customise and colour the store now. Even that's just a nice thing. Oh, that's glitched. It's a bit like that warehouse simulator at this point. <laughs> Milk. Uh, the customization is three mods at the moment. I think it's literally on the list of things that they're going to do next. So I don't think it'll be long before you can customize. I mean, let's face it, all the guys to do is pull some of the mods. <laughs> Just like... Oh yeah, there you go. I'll add that to the main game. Thank you very much. Yeah, is there any... That's a good point, actually. Are there any mods that alter the sound of vehicles going past that are not diesel? I feel like that would be a nice thing to have. It's a roadmap. Sort of. There's a list of features that are coming. Lecturing you. You never see any vans either, like delivery vans. There's a mod to make cars quieter. That's not what you want. Alex, is there a mod that lets you pick up... There's like a trolley mod or something. You can pick up multiple items. Forgotten where we put cheese. There it is.
Probably move some more flour. Thanks, love. Keep buying. Woo! We can now put flour back where it should be. I need to do the same with bread now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I think I'll wait to the end of the day, pause restocking, and then maybe I can shuffle things. Oh, he's going to keep coming back restocking. I, I think you should be able to click an item and mark it as, you know, don't restock it, basically. I'm going to move this shelf. Don't don't keep filling it. I definitely feel like the profit margins have gone down. Like, at one point, I was making a 1,000 a day. Now I'm shifting more stock and the profit's even less. Yeah, I have a lot of money invested in stock, that's for sure, but just a general margin every day. There's $66 just in electric, $65 in rent. So that's what? That's like $130 or something. Then there's these guys that take about 100 each. These guys that take about 100 each. The overheads are insane. I think what we need to do is consolidate this, put more shelves up, buy a license and stock even more stuff. Few clients, lots of products take time with cashiers are slow. Yeah, but this is the frustrating thing, is like you can't actually hire another cashier till they get to store level 30. Before that, I mean, I find this a bit odd, actually. You can get a cashier before you can get a restocker. The next thing you can then get is another cashier. So you have two cashiers and one stocker. Then you end up with two cashiers and two stockers. Then you end up with three stockers and two cashiers. And then three, you know what I mean? Like, it flips. I think this is a weird arbitrary limit. I kind of feel like this number should match this number. I feel like you should be able to choose whether you want one or the other. You can have a third tail for yourself. I, yeah, I could drop another tail in, but where's it going to go? And that's the other thing, is if I want a third cashier, I am going to have to scan another 500 items myself. <laughs> Sorry, 413 items. So made good money, 1200 Uh Juice, sugar, and bleach.
see if we can sort some bread out. Okay, can't quite do them all. Let's order a, let's see, furniture. I reckon we can get another shelf in there easily. Actually, let's think about licensing. What do I actually want to get next? We can sell cake and candy, cereal, chocolate bars and yogurt. We can do olive oil, peanut butter, flour, spaghetti, blah, blah, blah. Butter cereal. Honeybee cereal. Chicken. Is that cooked chicken? Frozen chicken? Raw chicken? Cheese, coffee, coffee light roast, bottled water, eggs, 12 pack. This is a weird one. It's frozen, so you'd need a freezer for that. Hmm. Yogurt, I presume that'll need the fridge. Chocolate bars will be on a shelf. Cereal on a shelf. Candy. Cake. This is not a bad one. Seems relatively straightforward. First one, yes, I agree, Buzz. Shelves only. This one's shelf plus a fridge, I think. Yeah, we're not getting beer yet, bro. I want to get beer, but it is expensive. Like, a look at the license fees down here. This is really appealing. Blonde Ale, like, beer lager, Blonde Ale chips. <laughs> Sushi, blimey. Mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, honey, tuna, eggs. Either of these two would be easy. The problem with it is I have to buy a license and then a load of stock, and that just kills your cash flow. So we're going to have to wait till we've got more money. But it does look like we need more shelves. Can I get two shelves out there? Could definitely get one here. Could possibly put them side to side that way. That would allow another stock item, I think. I do the eggs, I don't think I did, did I? If you already knew I had some good storage from as well. That's true. And that is a bit of a problem.
that is definitely a problem so it means storage expansion shop expansion like inventory it's just mad Um, interesting. Oh, gravity's been turned back on. from the middle keep getting stuck on something though uh, where is this clean to go again I think once you've um, decided where stuff goes, you've got to not move it around too much because you need to learn where it is. Okay, cool. Sugar. Right, got a lot of coffee up there. I think they need to alter the way that you um, generate profit. So that you can be, I don't know, competitive with shops in the neighbourhood or something. Or at least allow you to charge more money than MSRP if you want to, and just not as many people buy it, maybe. Rather than just refusing to buy it. Uh, can't you throw stuff in the door, then sort them? Um, you can't... Well, like that. I suppose you can... Oh, God, hang on. Oh, drop, pop. Drop it. You can, but the, the problem is you guys are coming through the stockroom as well, and they kind of kick stuff around. So you'll... Actually, they're clipping through it, bizarrely. Let's try that. Maybe that's more efficient. Got another shelf here. A shampoo's too expensive for me, he says. I just can't afford that. $6.40 price. But if you make it six thirty, I might buy it. Uh, the customizer's a mod. Once you install the mod, you then go to your computer and click on store customizer then you can change it all in here that was my thought was to back to back these a little bit Cleaners too expensive. Three twenty. That is expensive.
So we've got shelving space there. We've got potential shelving space over here. Let's sort the bread out. Oh, you scumbag game. You could sweet squeeze all the shelving tighter to the right. I mean, I think we're at the limit here. We could, you know, we could start putting fridges on the end of shelves and stuff, but I like the roominess we have. Mr. Hambly, thank you for 43 months. I know there's one label left. That one. So now we should be able to move our flower from there to there and then free up those shelves yeah you can expand the store we when we started off we had a little space we bought all this expansion. But yeah, that's the whole point of the game, basically. Okay, I think that's the last customer. Six products found expensive. 800. We did buy some upgrades. A couple of shelves. Uh, coffee, milk, soda, and dishwasher tablets. Which soda was it? Guessing that one. Trying to get these prices so you get enough profit is tricky. Thought it was that milk. Yeah, it was that milk. Let's move the flower over if we can. No, 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 Jeff. Cool. Right, flour and bread is right next to each other, which is nice. That tea's not being restocked very well, is it? Tea, coffee, and sugar's down there with milk. Cereal... Arguably, could come over here, but it doesn't really matter. Maybe you don't need so much space for the bread and storage. 
probably. I think bleach and cl and dishwasher cleaner and cleaning products, those two, that and that should probably be next to each other down here. I also don't know if I need to dedicate all the shelving to toilet roll. I think shampoo and hand gel might go on the same shelf. Let me pause these guys a second. Okay, so we've got hand gel, and we can put shampoo on the same thing, can't we? You need four shelves of hand wash. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you need it. Probably could get away with not doing it. It's not base game yet. they've got bleach and you think we should put bleach and cleaner dishwasher is that it's just cleaner isn't it or dishwasher cleaner should they be next to each other or should they be next to this bleach i don't know we could potentially ditch one of these Could move that cleaning product to here, I guess.
12, 12. It's nearly empty. So I don't think we need a full stack for that. Or that. Or certainly, well, actually, that one's got six on a shelf. That's got like 12 or something. Same with these, actually. I have to wait. We can't actually remove those easily. Bleach and clean on the same shelf. That's kind of what, well, n yes and no, because that's got six on a shelf. That's got double. It's more like that many. These lot here don't need so many shelves. We could probably just remove that and put them there and then have a full stack of that there. But I need to try and get rid of those. really hard to see what boxes you've got when there's like six boxes in a line you've got to look up there and be like have I got any space because the numbers show you the units but they don't show you how many boxes Ciao, Jeff. <laughs> oh, let's just go up here. I thought I'd opened it, but what I'd actually done is press enter, which doesn't open it. <laughs> that would be amazing, Captain Flint, imagine that. I like how you can throw a box of eggs around with no consequence. Really? That's full? What the heck? Seem to have over-ordered on the eggs. It's 
six of them. Uh, Bay Boys, thank you for five months. Coffee. Sugar goes down here. I think there should be an option that you can easily turn on and off where like say you're doing coffee here and you accidentally choose that shelf it'll relabel that shelf and i think there should be an option where you can just lock the label so that you can't accidentally put something in the wrong shelf is it is easily done I think we may have too much pasta. No, we're good. Bottle water is too expensive for me, she says. Really? So picky. I've got two spare fridges and a spare shelf at the moment. We could, in theory, like, chuck them... ...that. I just think it looks a bit awkward. You can also tuck them over here, I guess. Yeah, this, this lady has what's called active hair. It's a new kind of shampoo. And it gives you like an active colour to your hair. It's quite good. Because she's worth it. Might be able to get away with the uh, moving the cleaning stuff. How long before somebody makes LED hair extensions? Not long. Let me pause the restockers. Let's see if we can fix the old cleaning product. Oh, lovely. Thanks for your help. I 
Yeah, I reckon these two could share the same shelf. The checkouts are full. I can't help it if we're popular and the guys that are employed are really slow. What do you want me to do, buddy? Yeah, I... I can I can rebox two shelves and put another checkout here and jump on the till, but... It's really frustrating when you get to the end of the day and this happens. is insane. They are so slow and I can't even buy another guy yet. I'm going to have to stick another check out here. This is a actually obscene. The guys that work here can't be trained. They have one gear, one speed. They do have levitation, yeah. They definitely have got that. Matty, if I could get some faster workers, mate, I would. Yeah, I can't open a third cashier. There's two reasons why you can't do it. Firstly, we don't have another checkout. And to get another checkout, I can only order it tomorrow. You can't order things after 9pm. And secondly, I can't hire a third checkout person. Yeah? Cashier number three, please. I can't hire until I have personally checked out 900 people... And the store has reached level 30, and we're only at 26. So I cannot. I think there's a mod for a faster cashier. <laughs> Hang on, there's literally a mod for that. That's amazing. Better cashier. I often saw people complaining about the cashier. For me as well, they're too slow and too boring. Cashier will have a scan speed of 1.5 second per product. This mod changes the value randomly. That's interesting. Should we try it? Let's try it. I like the idea that it's random. Uh, plugins. Better cashier. We'll try it. Yeah, because some items it scan quicker, some they do a bit slower, you know what I mean? Like, keeps it more real. I'm going to save that. End the day. 2,000 profit? We've never hit 2,000 profit. Oil has gone down in price. That was the first day at 2k. Right, save. Quit. Restart. Okay, let's just open the store. 
and then we'll start restocking some stuff. There's a mod for the locking of labels in storage. In storage? Oh, right. So somebody did think of the same problem as me then. Seriously, the devs should just get these mods and just drop them into the main game. I'll just ask the mod authors, can I have the code and I'll drop it in the game? I'm sure they'll be like, yeah, fine. Everybody wins. Assuming that's the direction he wants the game to go in, of course. Have you got a link to the locking one, Captain Flint? It also means it doesn't sound like a hospital in when you're in the storeroom now. Because the beeps are random. Let's have a listen. That is way quicker. That is... That's more like Aldi. I'm not sure if that's random, but it's definitely faster. Is that it, pups? Have a look. Disable shelf for restocking. This mod allows you to disable restocking for individual store shelves. Simply left click a product label, important, do not the price label, the one with the product on it, and it still has products inside instead of giving a warning. Like before, it will turn the label red, letting restockers know to stop restocking this particular display. Left click again to turn it yellow. Oh, that's not the one I thought, though, pups, but that's still useful. I think the one Captain Flint was on about was um, the one for the storeroom, I think, where it, it would stop you from accidentally putting something on it. If you have a shelf for oil and you try to put the wrong item there, it won't just replace it when it's empty. Like, if I, if I took that and put that there now, it will change that icon, a way of locking that. I don't know, pups. Let's have a look. This mod prevents you from placing different products on an empty shelf or display if the old product label is still there. You must now remove the old label first. Yeah, effectively that, I guess. All right, we'll bounce that in a sec. Actually, I think we were just going to cut down on the bread storage, wasn't we? We'll run that down.
We should have enough cash to um, do some kind of expansion shortly. already buying there is a mod that will let you buy more than 10 items but the one i'm using is a scanner mod that lets you scan items on your stock shelf and it puts it in your checkout queue and that removes the 10 limit automatically so that way you just get to instead of having to figure out what you need and then finding it in here and adding it you just walk up to the label and go that 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 and it puts it in the checkout for you and removes the limit it's just fantastic like a sap system well just like any stock control system you just go around and scan all the things that you want to order. Where does this go again? Pasta, where did pasta go? Uh. You trying to tell me that no eggs have been shifted yet? That's really strange. label while there's a product there. This is the perfect opportunity to remove that soap from the... If I can remember where the hand soap is. There it is. Oh, that's fine. You just buy them all anyway, buddy. That's fine. Look at that. No cues. End of the day, no cues. Actually doing their job. The thing is, I'll still need to hand scan stuff if I ever want to get a third cashier, so I can't avoid the issue. Cheese need restocking. Gonna move all that shampoo to here and punt all that over there. And then we can bring all that cleaning stuff here. Eighteen hundred profit, that'll do. Right, salt, bleach and water. Save that.
Give it a bounce. Mr. Shubham, thank you for double top 40 months. Okay, so in theory, I can now say don't restock that shelf. I should stop them from stocking that shelf now. The heck? Also, in theory, if I take that and I try to put it there, it won't let me. Nah. That doesn't work. Is that just on the shelves then? Hmm. Right. I can't. I've got a couple of shelves here. In theory, we could take enough stock there to... Uh, we've got one, two, three... We could probably almost get away with another line of products. I'm wondering if we should expand, though. Let's get the growth. 2,600. We'll expand the growth. We'll put a couple of spotlights in the mix and then we go and decide what it is we want to get next Ooh, I like it. we can even have a freeze section if you wanted they're going to get moved on a sector here let me see if I can get away with that now Whoa, that label disappeared on its own. Freaky. Okay. Nah, I need to pay the bills. I think I've only got like two days worth of bills. Oh, you scumbag. Dude! Dude, you can see I've got a box of that! You can see what I'm doing and you walk over and top it up. Idiot. God. Staff, honestly. I didn't hire them for the IQ. So many other shelves he could have done. <laughs> Absolute moppet. Right, we've got lots of empty shelves. We've got shelving outside. We've got shelving for days. What's that? More shelving. So I think we need items that oh, just basically go on shelves. Since we're already invested in shelves, so no fridgy stuff. Oop. 
Hey, that's a bit better. So now we have one, two, three, four, five complete empty shelves and two small fridges. And we could even squeak some more stuff in there. Lots of options. Let's have a look at our licensing. You reckon, Babspin? <laughs> look, top level is whiskey. Whiskey and chocolate bars. <laughs> and books. Um, Let's see. We could go with... Yogurt could go in the fridge. Chocolate, cereal bar, candy and cake. We could do that one. Butter, which is a fridge item. Potato bag. Potato pizza mixed. French fries. That may need a freezer. I wish it would tell you the requirements here. Like, just tell you what... Like, shelf, freezer, whatever. I don't get why this has got flour. Like, it's just a different kind of flour. It's weird. I reckon this one's the best one for us. Or we do this one. Honey tuna, eggs, sugar. The problem with this, I've already got eggs and sugar, so I'd have to start rejigging to put the things near each other. It's one of these two. Yeah, I think we've got storage space. I think we can just about get away with six items in storage. Um, we've got a column there. One, two, three, four, five. And then if we ditch this bread, move that down there. Once we, once we compress this bread, we've got another column. In fact, I can say... Yeah, I think we should be okay, just. I'm going to have to reorder some stock, though. Buy the license in the mall and then we can actually order the stuff. I'm also going to need... Uh, at least two lights. I can put them in there already. It's fine. Come on, sir. Would you please complete your order? We are now closing. Two lots of hand gel. Interesting. And some flour. Lots of flour. And lots of hand gel. Makes me wonder what you're having for your dinner, sir. <laughs> and some cola. And some bin juice. And dishwasher cleaner and dried milk. <laughs> this guy's getting so much stuff. And some water. <laughs> like a complete weekly shop. That's insane. Have a look at the amount of stuff he puts on this checkout. Bosh. Okay, let's finish the day there. Wow, 161 profit. Look at all the upgrades. Eight pack of eggs has gone up in price.
Okay, first things first. Let's get the the new products we need. Um, interesting. That's now showing me. Oh, that mod's telling me what I need. Look at this. Beautiful. So what's that telling me? Six pack, fifteen brackets, zero. So I have zero in stock, and I have sixteen items out there. That's pretty good. Yeah, they've got time to restock. I need to order a load of stuff before we open the store. What we'll do is we'll get that license. That one. We'll chase the license. And then we'll order one of each item. So we can set the store how we want. And then one, two. So much stock, it's scary. Okay, that's just that section. Yikes! <laughs> uh, yeah, you can... Sp like, yeah, basically every store expansion is a 4x4 four four meter block. So the next one will be that block and then it will be that block. If only you add the labels on the side instead of the top, I can actually see what we've got. It's complete guesswork. Like, you should be able to walk up to this and know what it is. There's a mod that allows boxes outside to be sent to the racks by pressing Y. There is. There is a mod that will just send stuff straight in. I feel, it feels like COVID. Like we're shifting a lot of toilet roll right now. I haven't got to the new stuff yet. Ooh, that's some new stuff. Oh, you see, I'm going to have to move the other cereal now. That cereal needs to go there. What if we... What if we do this? now then we say to him don't restock that don't restock that just leave one can I grab that and we can put the powdered milk around here somewhere So that's like your baking coffee section. Powdered milk. I might put the I might put normal milk over here with the powdered milk. Put 
Put all that milk butter. I could just pick up the fridge, but I can't be bothered to relay it, so meh. I've ordered a lot of powdered milk. <laughs> I still haven't got to the new items. Updated the game mod spreadsheet. Thank you, mate. Michael Papa. Right, uh, that goes there. That goes here. Wish these icons were bigger. Right, I think we've got some new stuff. Ooh, chocolate. Nice. Put the chocolate next to the milk. Milk chocolate. Three ninety-two. I reckon we can sell that at four thirty-five. Now then, the problem with this stuff... It's a cake mix, isn't it? So the, in theory, the cake mix should go down here. I think I'm going to have to move the tea and coffee section. It's going to have to come down here. Although we can keep this for... Baking type things. You've got your flour, your bread, sugar... These are actual cakes, aren't they? Two dollars ten. Two thirty, maybe. Four twenty. Try for four eighty. Yeah, we could probably reduce sugar, yeah. Can we get sugar out of there? No. Get a bigger box for sugar. I see what you did. He was rushing over to fill that. And a red label it. Declined. You sir. Usurped.
Guzzy, 317, thank you for converting your sub to a normal sub and 52 months. Thank you. Oh, yogurt, is that? Yogurt. Oh, hang on. I've got to do this. Thanks. That's really helpful. Thank you. I love my staff members. They're amazing. Don't think we need to take a whole fridge of yogurt, do we? Definitely not. You can get a lot of yogurt just on two shelves like it's crazy two twenty five a yogurt let's go um it's like sweets isn't it this has gotten to be near the chocolate maybe the chocolate doesn't need to be so big Oh, I can't remove it now. I'm gone. I don't have an I need to order some more chocolate so I can remove that one. Also, I've not assigned any storage for this stuff yet. Uh two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Let's do that. We clearly need more zap soda. scumbag Which box? Oh, the oil. Yeah, I've just. It's all right. I deducted them. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. I have never seen delivery men do this. It's an impressive trick. <laughs> that takes skill. Actually, this is a new one, isn't it? So I need to... Oh, you see, I think I'd like to move the pasta now. We need to seal next to each other. do that um potentially upgrade storage potentially oh, i'm just watching the cache at the moment because we need to spend money on an expansion then we'd need more shelving and that shelving ain't cheap It's always the same when you go through a big upgrade like this. There's like a whole period of time where you've just got to set everything up, get all the stock in, and then hit go on it.
think you might be missing one of the cake things. I think... When you say missing a cake thing, do you mean on a shelf in storage, on a shelf in the shop, a box outside? What do you mean? On the order. Which cake do you think we're missing? Or do you mean like I've not ordered it at all? I just ordered some of this stuff. Let's see what's on the on the uh, order out here. No, Pep, you shouldn't. You should be able to tell these guys to do it. Or they should do it as a secondary thing. The fact they stand there while their boss does this is just unbelievable. You ordered four cereal instead of two and two. You mean that cereal? That's quite a price for a packet of stuff. 418. Flipping heck. You said you ordered four instead of two and two cakes. Oh, I'll figure out in a minute. Is this the new cake thing? Okay, I need to put this over here somewhere. Got pasta. Don't know how many cakes we'll need. Cake. More cake. Chocolate. Sweets need to go there. Is there a mod for a recycle bin rather than landfill? You what? Hmm. I don't really have a nice place for yogurt at the moment. I guess I'll have to go here. A self-checkout would be great. I'm sure they'll add that into the game. But you kind of need to have... With self-checkout, you need to have... People either getting it wrong or getting stuck and you need staff to come and help them. Or just trying to get away with it. Got shampoo in it. I can see this is quickly getting to the point where you just can't remember where you've put all your stuff. <laughs> At that point, you want the mod that just moves things into store. <laughs> oh boy, there it is. 
I am getting to the point where I just can't remember where stuff's gone. Why are they not restocking? Got these cakes out. Got yogurts out. Got those out. That's four kinds. I'm missing something here. I feel like we don't have everything out at the moment. Is it cake mix? No, I just looked at cake mix, didn't I? Missing cake mix in the storage room. Let's get all this in and then we'll figure it out. Where's the hand soap go? Definitely mission shampoo. Right, so that's a new product. One, two, three, four. Five, so I'm missing something. There's definitely an item cake. Is it that one? No, we've got the new cereal. I just don't have any of that. The new cereal's out, crispy chibi. I put it next to the old cereal. The new cereal is definitely there. This is the one we're missing. It's got zero next to it. We got 15 out there, but none in the storage. But you didn't, you didn't count it. What do you mean? There's the new cereal. I haven't opened the store, no. I haven't opened the store because the store's not ready to open. That's being moved. So that won't get restocked. That's then going to go on here. Once we're ready, that's going to go through there, you see. That's going to be that cereal. That's going to be the other cereal. That's why I've only got them out. Because that's being changed. Free space here. Free space on the end there. Free space there, free space there. We could do another line, we just need more storage next. Then we can do another line of stuff. Six dollars for that cereal. Eight eighty for that one. I would get more for that.
Right, pups. What was that mod that moves things into storage? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what was it called? Because I feel like I'm needing it now. This this is getting out of hand. <laughs> Where does this even go? Let's have a look. How it works. Go on the market tap on the store computer, add some products to the cart. Click on the cart button to open the purchase window. On the purchase window, you have a checkbox with the label placed delivery and storage if it's checked additional fees will be applied to your order and all products in the order can then be placed on a rack with a matching label will be placed instantly after delivery fees costs are calculated based on the number of product boxes in your delivery this can be changed in the mod configuration file if a product doesn't have a place in storage the box will appear in the front of the store interesting so they actually it actually charges you it actually charges you extra money to have it delivered into the storage. It can be configured even set to zero if you want. Store delivery. Thanks, Cam. Where did this cake go? That guy came and took that box before I was even finished with it. So the store delivery config file. Let's have a look at the config for this thing. Enable true, fees enabled true, fees per box three, fees added for each product box in your delivery. <laughs> you literally set fees for it, that's amazing. The companies that put it away overnight charge extra. Yeah, I mean, normally you use your workforce, right? But we don't have that option. But the sheer volume of boxes now. I am not shuttling all this through one at a time. That is my summer car levels of ridiculousness.
I mean, just look at how many boxes are coming through, and this is only going to get worse. You get to the point where you just rather pay the fees. Not to mention, for every single box, you've got to take it from here, throw it through there, and then when you go inside, you've got to remember where that one goes, and every line of items you order, it gets worse, trying to remember where you've put things. Let's see, that's that cake one there and there. Chocolate's going on this shelf. Uh, they gonna go on that shelf. What's the left to do? Press play, sit on a beach. <laughs> But, you know, that's the game loop currently, isn't it? Don't sound at all. Like, there's only so much game loop in it. To be honest, you know, this is how it goes when you start a business. You start off by doing everything yourself. And you quickly start to hire people to do things for you so you can do other things. And then you end up effectively managing the store. Setting the prices. Deciding what stock to buy. Deciding what to expand and how. Laying the store out. There's still plenty of other things for you to do. You're just not having to shuffle boxes around. You've got staff to do that for you. Beze, I think it's Larry Ellison that goes around on a giant yacht. Jeff Bezos goes around on his rocket ship, doesn't he? Takes people on trips. So if I wasn't able to do this, I'd have more time to actually get on with everything else. Take it that mod just goes in the normal Bepin X folder. Yeah, but bar 10, it doesn't need to be that way if you get a mod. In theory, now when we order stuff, if I say I want some pasta, there should be place storage and delivery. There you go. And then they charge you a fee. So we'll see how this works, right? Let's try it out. So we got a couple of those. One of those. Um, oh, we're slimming down the bread, aren't we? Can't actually see how many boxes I have. Right, let's try it. If I go here and say place storage and delivery, they're going to charge me $144 for that. So 
So eight dollars shipping, one hundred and forty-four to put it in the storeroom automatically. That's quite a fee, actually. That's quite a penalty. Boom. Let's see what our daily profit looks like. So the config file. If I edit that. That is set to fees per box three. So if I make that 1.5. What stuff am I missing, Pectech? We'll see what the turbo is like tomorrow. It should be a lot less penalty. Wait. It doesn't load when you red ticket an item. It doesn't load it when you um, bring it back in. Because it's a mod. It doesn't save it as part of the mod file. So that's something to watch out for. Two boxes of cereal. No, there's no stats yet. So you can't see what's selling and what's not. You can't see what they think about your prices. Why is that too expensive? She's alright paying $9.50 for that, but she found that was too expensive. I think we'll have to get a bigger storeroom next. We've got the shelving here. We don't have the shelving in the in the storeroom.
cheese is too expensive. Oh, it's not. It literally isn't. Shop's getting busy. How many mods? Um, I think I'm running about six mods now. She just bought three boxes of tea and two boxes of coffee and three boxes of chocolate. I want to go to her house. And cake. This woman knows how to party. Tea, coffee, cake and chocolate. Oh, she's not finished yet. She's having sweets as well. <laughs> and some water in case you get a headache from all the sugar and caffeine and some oil interesting not sure what that's for Apparently this yogurt's too expensive for him. Is that supposed to be a white ceiling? That doesn't feel like a white ceiling. Make it black and see if it's obvious. Nope. Green? That's weird. I feel like the um, the storage staff are starting to get to the point where they're not really keeping up. Like when we add another line of stuff, I think they're going to struggle. like all customers are hoarding for you to buy even more stuff and to hoard I can need another light down here These labels are going, look. Let's have a look what license we get next. We could go down the peanut butter, flour, olive oil, pasta, rice, 
and salt root. Thought, uh, had the thought that if you ever have any items not found in your data report, maybe remove the sign from the shelf. I don't know if that's how it works, Biff. Or oh, we can go down there. Mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, honey, tuna, eggs, and sugar powder. This one here, that's truly new stuff. The other ones are variations, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> Lots of stock was bought. <laughs> that was a great day. I can't get the beer license. Right, sugar, tea, yogurt, and cake. That sign doesn't stay up long enough. Which cake is it? That cake or that cake? <laughs> Tea, sugar... Yogurt. Wow, that's dropped in price. And uh, Mr. Kieran, thank you very much for Kieran for gifting five subs. Welcome, guys. Thanks for the squirrel gifts, Kieran. If you got a sub, please give me a thank you. Kieran 110101. I think I got that right. See, I reckon we can put the other kind of sugar there. We've got eggs in here, but we've got a spare fridge for the other kind of eggs. I think we can we can make that one work. This one. Sugar, eggs, honey and tuna. Sound like shelving items. Cheese, I don't know about cheese. Probably a fridge. Not that we have the storage space for it. Two thousand two hundred and fifty. Yikes. Yikes. I think we're gonna have severe cash flow issues now. Cause now I need shelving, stock, and god knows what else. Okay, I think we're going to have to wait another day before we buy more shelving. So what I don't know is <clears throat> what Biff was saying. So I've just bought a license which has unlocked six things. Are they going to come in and say, I can't find Parmesan cheese or I can't find tuna? Or, you know, is it because the shelf is empty, they say? So they will say that now. So that's rubbish. That's genuinely rubbish. We have some space. We have space there, space here, space here, and a column of space there. So in that case, let's get one of each. Cool. 
current sugar is there. Sugar underneath the chocolate seems like a good idea. And then we can put... I think we don't need so much sugar spice. We don't start gaming consoles yet, no. We are working on that. Sugar's there. Honey can go up the top here. Wow, eleven dollars twenty. That is some markup. Flipping egg. Ooh. Why is this sugar worth twelve dollars? Is that some kind of pasta? This product needs to be in a fridge. I don't even know what this is. It looks like Parmesan cheese, actually. Mozzarella. Yeah, it was mozzarella. What's this? That's going to need a full column to itself, that is. Sol tuna. There you go. And then the six pack of eggs. Oh, this is a tricky one. Um, hmm. What can we sacrifice? Remove some oil. Yep, you can do that. Trouble is, I have way too much oil. <laughs> to be honest, I have too much of that cleaning product as well, so why don't we just stick it there for now? Not ideal, but it'll have to do. Okay, I think we can open. And set the price. Rip. For which one? the tuna
I think he did the rest. Yikes. <laughs> we gotta wait for some cash to come in. Yeah, a tune has been set. I think we'll punt the eggs over here when we when these are empty. Come on, guys, ring those tails and eat cash. We're heavily stock invested. And then we need some storage shells. Normally they turn 90 degrees and go in the shop. I'm not taking out a loan, it's a principle. Look at the variety of stuff. Look how much cereal this guy's buying. What the heck? Six boxes of cereal. I can get a couple of shelves there, maybe one or two there. And we need some lights as well. $274 short at the moment. I feel personally attacked. I love cereal. Six boxes though. Come on. Who needs six boxes? Okay, here we go. Osh. Now we have stuff. Let's grab a box of honey. And then try and remember where the honey goes. Where did I put the honey? Did I actually put the honey out for sale? Oh, is it? No, I got... Oh, here it is. There we go. I thought I might as well help out with the restocking. Let's pay the bills. Tuna. Doing bad on tuna, apparently. Seven of them. Oh, 
I can't remember how big the tuna boxes are. Oh my god. Why is that sugar so expensive? Yeah, we got it all delivered. We got some stock. How do you add cart from label on the shelf? It's a mod. I think Pops has updated my mod spreadsheet, and so it lists all the mods that um, I'm using. Don't know if he's still here though. What am I nibbling on? A ham sandwich, ham and pickle. And I have some walnuts. What happened to all the cash? It's all been reinvested in an expansion, some new licenses. We're now selling all kinds of stuff. We're just more and more like Tesco. Look, we've got tuna, mozzarella cheese, bin juice, eggs, other kinds of eggs. We've got pasta or whatever that is. Yogurt, chocolate, sweeties or candy if you're American. Powdered milk, proper milk. And look, we're making a killing. Minus 3,000. Oh, was that Parmesan cheese? Right, shampoo, six pack of milk, and yogurt. Uh, shampoo, isn't it? Right, this is a day when we make money. We need to make money today. One product not found. What? What product? Oh, it must have been on the shelf. It was probably tuna. We ran out of tuna because I only, only ordered one box of it and then I had to wait for the money. So it probably went empty on the shelf for a bit. And that's triggered the... You've got no tuna. Well, I can't afford to open another line of stuff yet. And frankly, we don't have the space. But what we can do is look at these racks and try and figure out if we can get three, one, we get two there, one there, one there. We might get four there.
might even get more air than I thought. I should get another one there. Okay, that's given us some flexibility. I reckon tuna and yogurt can go next to each other. And cheese. Let's put tuna there, we'll put cheese there. A yogurt there and we'll put tuna can go above it. Like that. Can't throw that here, why not? It's my stock room. Really? abuse it's not employee abuse okay tuna Go there. get rid of them cool right what's that is that the pasta okay so the food stuff can come over here pasta can go there Parmesan. It looks like pasta to me. How is that Parmesan? It looks like somebody's sticking in a fork of pasta. But okay, fine. It's still next to the other cheese, so it still makes sense. It literally looks nothing like it. It looks more like pasta image. Ridiculous. All right, sugar and chocolate and sweety things are all good. Sugar's all there. Uh, I think that section's fine. Flour, and then we've got... I suppose we could move... Dude. Could move flour to the... Oh. Get rid of that. But the inevitable sugary products that will come. Bread and flour's there now. Then over here, we've got cake things going on. Pasta thing, tea and coffee, cereals, that's all good. Need some more lights actually. Add some lights to the cart. Down here, we need three of them. Can't even see properly under there.
This is probably a stock order for more stuff than I have money. Ah, eggs. They need moving. I've got eggs here, milk over here. That's two and a half grand's worth of stuff with an $81 tariff. I think the C marking is on every product that comes into Europe. It's like a certified for Europe marking. You can probably sell spotlights, yeah. Finally get that how I want it. Yeah, I'm gonna do pops, don't worry. Okay. Let's see if we made any money. Eee, that's a bit better. It's amazing when we don't buy stock, we make a nice profit. And then on the day we do buy stock, we make a massive loss. Apple, milk, orange, and bread. Okay. Let's save it there. I'm going to take a break, guys. I should be back in an hour. When we will come back and we will expand our repertoire. We'll get more cash in. We'll open up another line. I'm determined to sell beer at some point. That's got to happen. <laughs> Squirrel's cash is getting bigger. Pizza and beer, Baz, it's going to happen. Right, it's uh, 3 o'clock. I should be back in one hour. Back at 4. See you then. Uh, if you're heading out, enjoy the rest of your day. Otherwise, I'll see you back here in one hour's time. That's it for me. Bye for now.
30, 20, 10. Come on, down you come. What the? What was that? Don't sink. Don't sink. What was that in the... Did you see that? Oops. Um, but I think the cedar has got a little roll. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> I fat fingered the winch. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy doesn't mess around, flipping heck. And he didn't get, whoa, whoa, bro, bro. You're not meant to go full togo. What are you doing? For about six days, I think, just drying the thing out. And it hasn't leaked since. So. Oh, the anti anchor nine, scan the DVR for this. Dude. Uh, I'm not doing, uh, hold the mic. <laughs> that is a tricky approach. My life. Here he comes. Easy, Larry. Easy. You want to be turning, Larry? Turn, 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 turn. Oh my god. That looks really easy, boy. Easy. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be on this plane. Hit the brakes. Easy, Larry. Easy. <laughs> Everybody on board are going to be issued with fresh underwear when they get off this plane. You have modded maps, interesting. No. That means somebody's going to come up with well-known places as maps, like Buckingham Palace or something. <laughs> the Science Museum, you know. <laughs> Maybe outside the Science Museum, you might get told off by a security guard for taking a shortcut, pups. Well, right, I'm standing up for myself here. Go on, then. Right. It's a public pavement, so he has no jurisdiction over what I do on that public pavement. He can't stop me coming into the museum for something I did outside on a public pavement. It's not like I cut a queue. There was no queue. Why would I walk an extra like 150 meters? What? I just go for Hang a gap? on a minute. <laughs> stupid security guard. <laughs> we were record him stupid security guard when I got in the museum at all. Why are we posting sanctuary mugs? Get out of here. We're in February. Delta 7, runway 31, right, and um, we'll walk uh, 1,000. I don't know if you can reach those up there. Hang on, flood, where's the flood? Holy flood! What is Puppy doing? What do you mean? What on... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, I can't wait to see what happens when you turn up. Okay. <laughs> Bridge 22 requesting IFR clearance to uh, uh, strip ball. Uh, reach 22, hello, what is your aircraft type and your stand number? <laughs> uh, he stopped talking. Reach 22, what is your aircraft type and your stand number? Stand number is uh, 160, and aircraft type is F-22 Raptor. An F-22 Raptor. An F-22. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really think this is going to work. Um, can I request you not to do that? <laughs> uh, in America, you're allowed to fly the F-22 Raptor without, um, any uh, marsh approval, just you cannot exceed speeds of uh, supersonic, and you can't you can't go crazy. Fair enough, but I'm afraid this is not America. Welcome to Big Boy England. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Captain Jank is here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what? That is just mad. Right, I'm gonna winch. No, winch. No, winch. I've got you. I think I got you. I've got you winched. You you're, you're, you're in the ground. You've literally gone through the floor. <laughs> oh my god. He's bullying me now. I'm coming for your ball. Look at the Manian devil. Dude, there you go. Look at the ground. Look at the ground he's yeah, leaving. No. The trail of destruction. <laughs> oh my god. You have ruined the terrain. Day 14 without any uh, 
event, I'm slightly concerned. There you go. Just enjoying the pleasantness of a custard cream. Of a what? Custard cream. Custard cream? I don't, I don't get such treats. Uh, whatever. Hmm? What do you mean you've got some? Custard cream. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. Sit corrected. When he owns a pavement outside the public pavement that's owned by the government, and I would have loved, I would have genuinely <laughs> thing for something I did on a public pavement that was nothing to do with the museum. It's not like there was even a queue. The place was empty. The security guard, if you're watching, yes, I'm annoyed at you. Learn your boundary of your job. And that emote really annoys me. How many times a week, on average, do you reckon you have a rage? It depends what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, just on average, you know, is it one a day? No, not many, because normally I just lock myself in my room. Right. Oh, I did nearly rage at the kebab place the other day. Welcome back, welcome back. Guys, look, look who's here. Look, look at this. It's... Atomic Man. Amazing. I'm so scared of your atom. <laughs> welcome back, anyway. If just joined us, welcome. We're uh, expanding more supermarket stuffs. Maybe he's a nuclear physicist or something. Maybe I'm just being unduly harsh. Balashia, thank you for all tier two. 61 months. Marshmallow, thank you for a year. I'm just letting the guys restock up and then I'll uh, probably put a big order through to re-equip us. So it's going to be an expensive day, this. But I just thought, well, if I let them, let them just fill the shelves and I can get a good idea of uh, what our inventory is like. <laughs> Bass. <laughs> Hilarious. He's gonna have to change his name now completely. Oh, these diesel cars, man. Anyway, welcome to Squirrel's Cash. How can we help you? How far around the streets? It's basically, you can run this way, and it's a giant square as far as I can tell. So it goes in that way, and that way. We're in the middle of a, imagine a, a digit eight. We're in the middle strip of a digit eight, effectively. But currently we can only open this store. We can expand this store, but this is the only store available to us. I think you can expand all the way to here, I'm guessing. And then, however far back that goes. I sat in that, Baz. I did not like that car inside. That had no headroom either. For a tall person like me, it's terrible. I was quite surprised how plasticky it is inside. Alright, one sec. Alright. I'm just going to kick off a handbrake on a stream. The uh, the file size is getting quite big. Copy that over. Oh, it's still doing Saturdays at the moment. Blimey. That's going to take it a while. Yeah, I know, but I was I was really surprised. I sat in the standard version and I was like, hmm. And then I went to the the 5N, like the souped up one, and it was horrendous inside. Didn't like it at all. Because I even said to Mr. Squirrel, I said, this is the car that like drops the power to the motor and fake shifts gears and that kind of thing. But yeah, very surprised by it. Right, let's have a look. We need toilet rolls. We need lots of that. Five hand gel.
milk. That's that shelf done. That's a lot of egg boxes under there. Blimey. How big are those boxes? This is going to be a big order. How much is that so far? Holy, you are kidding me. How much? 4,600? No, I haven't gone around that side of the... What? Nah. Right, in that case, we're opening. Let's go. Jeez, Louise, the order size now. And I'm behind on my bills. Get them paid off. Yikes. Hang on, 12 toilet paper. I must have already put stuff in. I must have, Baz. There's no way. I must have already put stuff in there. I had 12 toilet paper. Which is that so far? 1700, that's better. Uh, did I do over here yet? How much is that? 2300. Two of them, two of them, four of them, one of those. That was too many. There you go. I need to drop two of those sweetie things. Which is a sweetie. It's Bombay candy. Go with that. Oh, that's better. It's a slightly better stockroom situation. I thought I ordered too many. Let's put them down there until they're gone. Yeah, it's it's a game mechanic, I think, that you can store, like, fr like frozen and frig refrigerated items can just be put on the shelf. Like, strictly speaking, you should have fridges out there as well. It's 
looking all right in here. We have got some spare shelves, though. We're going to have shelving along here for small items. We've got uh, some shelving here for more cleaning products. We've got all this shelving here, all that shelving there. The only thing we're missing is another license and money to buy more inventory. That's going to have to wait, I'm afraid. Yeah, we can expand the storeroom. This expensive business. Every piece that you add gets more expensive. Like the last thing we added <clears throat> was this here and this here. The next 4x4. Four four, uh, if we go to growth. So the next 4x4 four four shop section will cost 4400 just for the space. And if you want to expand the storage, that will cost 2950 And there's also a level restriction, so even if you have the money, you still are restricted by the store level. Did I buy more lights? I thought I bought more lights. That's weird. You have one storage room upgrade left. Wait, what? Are you sure about that? Are you, are you telling me you can't get any bigger than this? How can you add all these sections, like 23 sections, if you can't expand that? What? How's that going to work? You can with a mod. Dude, why is that not in the base game? What does the mod let you do? I like how this lights up when you walk around with us. Brilliant. Look at that. Hello. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Seriously, there are so many licenses for products that you can still add. Where is it? Management licenses. Look at all these things, right? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items there. Six here, six here. That's 22 products right there. And then that times one, two, three, four, five, six. That's probably knocking on 120 to 130 product lines. And you can't expand the storage more than that piece there. That's just stupid. So what does the mod let you do? The one that gives you bigger storage then? Let me have a look at that. Next mod. More space. If you think your storage requires more space, this mod is for you. It will double your storage. Put this into M loader mods and it will and buy all upgrades for your storage when your storage is level five. Your storage will be double. Okay. That's probably going to have to happen.
Am I in your way, sir? I mean, the other thing is, this computer's one annoying aspect. It feels like you've got nowhere good to put it. It's just always in the way, wherever you put it. I mean, even if you put it here, you're still wasting the shelving space. allow you to put an extra row in there I think yeah you should have a dedicated office or something you can buy eight hundred and thirty down parmesan cheese where do we store parmesan cheese Go 540 on that. Has there been an update? The floors and walls look different. I don't know what you mean. They look the same to me. Hang on. Let me just change the colour. See? No different. <laughs> Wait, was that the wrong cheese? Yikes, that's nasty. How can that be white? Ooh, I like that. Black flooring. Which cheese is that then? Is that the mozzarella? Oh, it's the it's the pasta cheese, isn't it? That's the one. To be honest, I might actually classy, classy look. I don't. They, oh, the spaghetti one just does my nut in. Like, there's no way that's a cheese. Don Bernardo. I keep going there for the computer now. Right, let's go to the bells. Get the bells done. Good stock levels apart from bleach and toilet paper. See, because these are big box items, you can't... They take up a lot of storage space, so you kind of run out of them fairly quickly. At some point, you're going to get so big that you're going to need another till. I'm going to have to get back on the till, aren't I? I think I'm storing too much cola. Or this stuff. Possibly. I mean, we could we could probably thin that out a little bit. Bobby don't need 
four four units of each of that. It's got a long shelf life though, wasn't it? I need the cash now to get another product line. We're almost level 30 on the store. Two of each carries you through the day. That's fine if you want to be doing daily purchases of that. And that's, that's the other thing you have to consider is like, the less buffer you have, like the bigger the buffer, the more you're tying up money in stock, the less buffer you have, the more you've got to keep reordering and you might run out during the day. And I just saw somebody complain about something. I didn't see what it was. Oh, you scumbag. I want to know whose bike that is. Is that supposed to be ours? <laughs> they got to get rid of that diesel audio. That's just ridiculous. The Woodhouse Spa Center. You should be able to open up a dry cleaning. Thanks for the, uh, the boost. Yeah, we'll get a free tour. Oh, you scumbag is a bit quicker than I am. Diesel sports go hype. Right, he'll give me a free tour of the city. Watch this. There you go. <laughs> cool. I think I just saw Bond nicking something then. I came over, he got up really shiftily from the cake aisle. Maybe he doesn't want Bond doesn't want us to know that he eats cake. He's like, no, look, I eat uh, healthy things like apple juice and turco. I don't touch cake. I prefer cheese. And I may need some hand sanitizer. Did you play another brick in the mall? I don't believe so. I think we can run today without buying any stock. Try and get the profits up a little bit. Are they actually using that checkout? Yeah. The AI behaves very strangely when it comes to going to checkouts. Like, somehow, when they finish shopping, they just randomly pick a checkout and then go and stand in that queue, and they never, never, ever change. 
So even if they're in a queue with five people and there's nobody on that checkout, they will not leave and go to the other checkout. It's very rudimentary. Right, nine o'clock. Why is it people keep coming in after nine o'clock? I thought we closed at nine o'clock. I've not seen anybody complain. Sign says open. It always says open. It never changes. So why do the customers stop? It changes when you close it yourself at the start of a new day. Yeah, but Alex, mate, watch what happens. From now on, nobody will come in. Otherwise, I just stay open 24 hours. Do you reckon she's a shopper? Nope. There you go. So now we're empty and there's nobody else coming and we're still open. I downloaded the program the mods need but only a few of them work. You, you need to look at where they go in a folder. Two and a half grand. Look at that. 2,400 profit. That'll do. Products found expensive, seven. I only saw one person complain. Coffee, cheese, bottled water, and powdered sugar. Was it coffee, cheese, bottled water, and powdered sugar, was it? Is that this one? We have two kinds of sugar, don't we? Let's check that one then. Okay, that one there, isn't it? Surely we can't charge 16 for there. <laughs> That'd be too much. Let's try 1560. That's some expensive sugar, that is. Right, how much is the expansion? Storage expansion, three grand. Jeez, man. So expensive.
Where's that mod? Did I download it? This one had to go into ML. Okay, I've got that. Once we bounce the game, that might fix it. So I could package them up and slot another till in there. Or I could fire one of these and just do the till for them. I just do that. I just fire somebody. Firing. Then the beeping stopped. Right, what do you want? Um I think I fired the mid mid flow and it got confused. <laughs> Okay, sir, let's go. 6250. Uh, 23 change. Oh, Card. Love it. I've just noticed, right? Every time we do a checkout, we get XP for the store. I wonder if that happens when you've got somebody hired to do it. Oh, yeah, they do. Five, five XP. You know what, Jeff? Bit quiet today, isn't it, mate? Mm hmm. You tell what, you take all the staff, you take all the customers, and I'll sit here and do nothing. How does that sound? Twenty-six dollars, dude. You lose one XP for every unsatisfied customer. I'm quicker than you, Jeff. Bot confirmed. Oh, Bond's here. Here we go. Eggs. Turco. Apple juice to make it look healthy. Lots of bread. Flour. I'm not sure why he needs flour, but hey-ho. Exact change, is it? Lots of yogurt and oil, sir. And honey. I wonder what your evening entails. Did he give me cash? He did, didn't he? Really? Just a just that air. Okay. I've just noticed the door frames need a lick of paint, don't they? Look. You see how bad they are?
There's a man that likes tuna. He's an accountant. Still at it, Jeff. I've finished my queue. Lots of chocolate. He's so slow. You can't beat a chocolate sandwich, Baz. Oh, he is. There's two of them now. You see? They've split the atom. Now there's two of them. Tomorrow, four of them will come back. And then eight. And in a couple of weeks' time, we'll have an explosion. What was that? Cereal is too expensive for me? Parmesan cheese is too expensive for me. They're complaining about cereal and Parmesan cheese, apparently. That's not overpriced. Exactly, she meant pasta, really. Honey has gone down in price, not good. Now, we're cash rich, but the stock situation's not amazing. I'm going to try and see what happens if I restart with this mod. Well, my point's exactly Navarine, but somehow they managed to um, leave negative reviews and you lose XP. But they've left boxes on the floor, they always do. Yep, there you go. So, does the storage expansion only happen when you unlock the last tile, maybe? Ooh, yeah. I see what the mod does. You can literally see where the, what the mod's done here. <laughs> you can literally see what the mod's done. It's It's like... Seriously, that's the original wall, and the mod's gone. Let's have a new extension. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> I am fine with that. I actually got room to breathe over here. I mean, if they'd let me buy more, I'd happily buy more. But the game's not letting me buy more, so whatever. Get this shop open. Completely seamless, yeah. You'd never know it was there. No expense spared.
Okay, how much is that? Okay, if they don't need me in here yet. I wonder how they, if the, um, these guys will be able to path into that area. That's a bit weird. It doesn't show green, but it kind of lets you put it down. I have the workstation in the middle. <laughs> no, I've not really hired the cashier. I was waiting for him to get super busy. It saves us like $100, and I need to grind this anyway. Because if I'm, if I'm ever going to get three cashiers, I'll need to do this. There's no way around it. Apart from editing an I&I &I file like pups. Item, really? Uh, public safety down. No, I pay to have it stored away. Effectively. Level 30 hype. Noise. Does that mean we can get beer at level 30? <gasps> beer and pizza. It's gonna happen. See, we're not very busy at the moment. I'm doing other things. Need to move stuff. I think you have to click it twice for it to um, put it down, even though it's red. Where's all the bread gone? I don't think we need quite so much storage allocated for that. They're really small boxes. It's 
1600 per chase done we need a lot more lights in here i should have put lights on that order come on we're open for business over here let's go express checkout has been open sir I'm going to turn all the shelves around, don't worry. Need to lay it out better. Caught you up, mate. Why is that? Oh, now I don't know where anything is. Hmm. <laughs> where did I put this? Found it. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe it has shoplifting, no. 12 products found expensive. I mean, it'd be really nice if the game actually told me which products were found expensive. Right, shampoo, OJ, bleach, and hand soap. Do OJ. Shampoo, OJ shampoo, there we go. Like, how am I supposed to fix the problems with products being expensive if I don't know which ones they are? And the only way I can find out is if I stand here and spot people complaining. There's no report at the end that tells me. This is looking like a very different room. You saw it never goes green when it's down here now.
Look at that. That's lovely. Uh, Dave1562, thank you for 99 months, sir. Jord, thank you for 99 as well. Wow. You guys are close. All right, 4,268. Let's see how much a license costs. Let's open the store. So the next license we want, let me pay the bills. So the level 30 license that allows you to sell beer is that one for 3,500. That allows you to sell lager, three different kinds of ale, hummus, which probably has to go in the fridge. So I think lager, ale, and vodka are all on the shelf. Chips, I don't know if they're frozen or what. I may need a freezer for the chips. The other thing I need is stock space, which I th think I have. Where's the yogurt? Actually, it might be crisps, yeah. It might not be chips. It might be American chips, which means crisps. Okay. So that'll go on the shelf. So we'll have to see what they're like. Got a column there, or we just put them here. Trying to do stock here, dude. Check out is closed. Toilet roll's a good seller. If there's one thing you know, you'll always be able to sell it. Toilet roll. <laughs> Oops. Misclicked. Have too much cleaning product. Never mind. Do you know what? It would be kind of fun if there was a panic buying thing. You know, like in um, Cook Serve Delicious, you get like these rushes every now and again. That would be hilarious. How did I manage to order so much of this? It's a pity you can't return stuff. You know what? Let's put it there for now.
That's a lot of tuna and a lot of tea. I fired one of the checkout staff. Bond's coming this way. A lot of hand lotion. Some coffee. Cheese and bread. Lots of oil. And sugar. It's an insight into the life of James Bond. What 007 does on his downtime. Was close to retirement, yeah. There might have been weapon ingredients. You could be right, actually. Maybe we need to stop fertilizer and sugar and see what he buys. <laughs> uh, do you make a card there? Yeah, it would be heading if there's a grid view. Like, even this, like, moving things on the ceiling, you have to be almost underneath it to reach, otherwise it's out of range. So you can't even, like, stand a distance away and move it so that you can see where, it, where you want it. Feels dark in here, bizarrely. Might be the black floor. Where does the hand lotion go? I reckon we're close to selling beer. We've got the space for it here. Bread and the flour over here. And we ditch them labels. There you go. We got room for all the beer. Twelve products found expensive. 
give me a break. Oil, apple seed, apple juice, cereal and sugar. It's only complaining about the pasture cheese. Well, this one. I don't know why, because it's not that expensive, is it? Oh, scumbag. I hate it when he does that. I think I'm going to get some more lights again. All right, lights on. Opened up. You can move the four egg packs over now. Okay. You can see you're fitting lights and they're like, I want serving. And then it's closed and I have to open it and close it again. You got to change the price of oil, did I? Let's try that. Nice and light in here now. Think we need another stocker. Well, I think we can afford to hire one now. I think we've got the level for it. We probably will when we get our um, beer license. Because there'll be even more products. Like, you've got a choice, really. You can either hire somebody else and get it done during the day, or at the end of the day or the start of the day, just wait before you open. And let them stock it. I don't know, from there's probably an instant stock mod. one's overnight stocking. There's an overnight stock mod. <laughs> 
Yeah, we can actually hire some deals. Daily wage, 90. Thirty-five hundred for the license, and then we're probably going to need a few thousand just for the beer. <laughs> Still got to make all the decisions, Losin. Three restockers and this can't keep up with it, look. Outrageous. There's a mod called Night Chef, which is funny because there's no day-night cycle. <laughs> uh, battery, thank you for 84 months. Thanks for keeping me company through my health struggles. Love this community. Hope you get well soon, battery. I wish there was, like, strip lights you could get. Or just wider lights or some variation thereof. That's a lot of sugar. Customer said cheese is too expensive. Okay. I did nerdy drew, yeah. Because honestly, I didn't realize that it would it would just cap out on size. Which cheese was over expensive? This one? Yogurt as well. They complain about yogurt. Give over. They're like robbery. I, I still don't feel like these three stockers are keeping up. I think we need more. That's a lot of stuff. It's 
So look, they've got like loads of shelves here missing stuff. Oil missing stuff, pasta, flour, bread. There's so many things they're just not on top of. Tea, coffee, blimey. Uh, did you want to move the eggs of space now? Um, yes, I did. Want to move those other eggs. Um, okay, I'm gone. Right, which eggs was it? We have two different kinds, don't we? Drinks. Cleaning pour eggs. These kinds of eggs. A small pack, okay. Trouble is, I've moved everything around and I don't know where our stuff is now. must be over here. Is it under cleaning products? Here. Ah, those eggs. Okay. Hmm, okay. So we could, in theory, put something else in there. I don't think we need yogurts. I am sorry, Enceladus. I'm sorry I missed your 10-year anniversary, 120 months. <laughs> That's insane. Blooming egg. Indeed. Sorry I missed that. Sometimes I think I've read things and I've not. Thank you for 10 years of support. That is awesome. Bleach, sugar, dishwasher tablets, and tea. Bleach, that one. He was the other one, wasn't it? Oh, mm, hate that! <laughs> right, six. Because it means I've got to go and f like, I can't even fix the problem easily. If you click that, it removes the label. Because if you click that, it brings the price up. If you click that one, it either turns it red with the mod or it removes it. And then in order to put it back, I can't just pick up a T and put it there and go right. That's T. I have to go out of here, find the T. <laughs> Wherever I put tea now, bring a box of it out, do that with it, and then it's okay. 
It's just annoying. Oh, there's, yeah, a lot of people have been sub for a long time, Lozen. Over 10 years. Uh, customization is a mod, yeah, some of it. Like changing the colors and stuff is a mod. Changing the name, that's a mod. Being able to pause the, the uh, stock control people, that's a mod. Expanding this beyond its maximum here, that's a mod. One day the base game will have all this stuff in it. Need to get the beer license now. There's super VIP function for the 10 year subs. <laughs> There's no facility in Twitch for super VIP. Like how can you be a VIP and then be a super VIP? <laughs> You're a very important person, yes, but he is a super very important person. <laughs> okay. Not 90%, about 5% of the game. Close that for a bit. I think we'll have to order the new stuff at the start of the new day. Otherwise, as soon as I buy the license, people will instantly complain that they can't buy beer, which is stupid, but that's the way it is. Yeah, on Amici, but then when people started to get like towards 10 years, I think you can't do nothing, you know? suggested many times to Twitch to have more control of what people are in chat. So far, many have been shut down. What do you mean, what they are in chat, Fadian? What would the example be? Can I have a custom badge? Well, you have a custom badge. Depends on how many months you've been subbed. Busy lemonade and tuna. That's going to be a great afternoon for him. I'm a specific channel roles and channels so you can just default roles at VIP mod. It would be nice to have some more flexibility, yeah.
Did I add this lot? I'm back, what do you mean? I did say at the end of the stream I'd be back in an hour. <laughs> and what do you know? I was back in an hour. Another streamer I watch gives VIP for channel points, then purges a load when he hits the cap at 100. The problem is, how do you know which ones to purge? I mean, I have the same problem in a way. You're, you're limited to 100 VIP. So at some point, we're going to hit that cap. So then, how do I get rid of people that aren't around anymore? How do I know who they are? Like, if there's somebody that hits VIP, gets the badge, and then, you know, just doesn't come into the channel anymore for whatever reason, you kind of need to give that badge to somebody else. Even though that person earned it, they're not using it. And somebody else can't have one because and they're here so it's, it's it's a difficult one and currently there's no more than 100 sub ba uh, vip badges allowed which i understand because they don't want to dilute the concept of it they don't list them in it in order of at all they just tell you who they are it's like to, to twitch it's just another role so you go into your roles manager and you can see who has been assigned the VRP role. But that's it. You don't know anything else about them. You don't know when they got it. You don't know if they've been in your chat in the last six months. You know what I mean? It's just data is lacking. Wow, 192.50. Big spender. I don't come to stream for three months, maybe remove them. Yeah, but it's, again, it's tricky to try and detect that. How do I, how would I detect that they've not been in chat for three months? All products found expensive. Amazon cheese is down. <laughs> let's come back to it. Okay, right. Let's do this. Management license. Let's get the beer. 3,500. Boom, that's half the money gone. Market products. We will get one of each. That's $500 just for one of each. Blimey. Okay, let's get two of each. Don't place it in storage, because there's nowhere to place it yet anyway. Oh, that's a keg. A keg of blonde beer. Right, so that's got six of them. So I'm thinking two shelves. Where do you want to store beer? I don't know how much of that we're going to shift. Okay, so yeah, when it said chips, that's exactly what it meant. <laughs> it meant tortillas. Or ta yeah, tortillas, isn't it? Are they tortillas? Not tortillas. What do they call them? The little triangle things. Doritos? No, that's a brand. How many is in this? 16. 
Tortilla chips. It is tortilla. Um, they can go... Do we want snacks over here? Or do we want to put them with the cakes and stuff? I suppose we could put them with the cakes. There you go. Ooh, that looks like a nice beer. Eighteen. I think we can get away with just one shelf like that. There we go, that'll do. I don't know if it's Belgian or German, to be honest. Um... What was that? Is that hummus? Hmm. What's I can go? Wow. That was 16. That's not so bad. Looks like hummus. Um. Hmm. Bit of a problem. I suppose we could sacrifice some yogurts. Considering we get 25 on a shelf. Or we get another fridge. Six dollar profit on that. I wish I could remove that door. <laughs> We're going to move that to the milk to stay. I'll have to buy a new fridge. Single rack fridge, I think. I should really get all the drinks together somewhere. that go there it's a very frustrating door that is What do you mean the fridge might fit it? I think you can move the shelf to the left a bit. Probably, I suppose. Or maybe not. No, you can't because it starts to hit that box. You can you can come over a tiny bit.
Will a double fridge fit on the end though? A little bit awkward, isn't it? It's a little bit awkward. Uh, can you put the double fridge where the empty shelf is and then move the shelves down? What do you mean where that is? Yes. Um, that's something cool. It's like because we've put that there. I think what you're saying is do that, right? And then maybe that would go back there. And then maybe double fridge will sit there. I feel like I want all the fridges down here, if I'm honest. This needs to be the re refrigeration section. Although it does fit nicely in there. I suppose we could put a single fridge there, but... that in there. They don't, the customers don't care about spice. No, they don't. completely altering this now <laughs> place shelves on either side of the freezers in the middle um, I don't have any freezers Craft, thank you for gifting a sub to Mink how do you say that Mink what that looks like a Dutch name I can't pronounce Yeah, no, no way. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Psycho Man, thank you for 18 months. We've got water there.
Actually, I suppose I should put drinks on one side. All this because it got a beer license. Okay, that's looking all right down there. Hummus price for thirty, I reckon. One sixty nine profit, is that it? That food and that drink should be swapped over, but meh. Why not put the dairy all together? Because that's faff. First, I'll go back. That is really annoying. Yeah, they need a variety of shelving, don't they? Like you say, like, even half shelving. They've got, like, a normal fridge and a half size fridge, but they don't have the same thing for the shelves. It's weird. Door open. There's a five-tier shelf on Nixon. What's a five-tier shelf? Right, where's the beer? Beer's the... Bottles, 15 in a bottle. That'll do for that. The product needs a fridge. Of course it does. I can get a double fridge, though. Yeah, I reckon it can. Five layers. It's a half size one I want. You need smaller sizes so you can fit little corners and gaps and things. Happy Easter. No worries.
Okay, so we're getting all the drinks over here. That's an empty shelf. I think we'll put that stuff on the, the cheesy thing. Tuna seems to sell well, actually. I might move that stuff to here and then stack that with tuna. Where's the tuna? Where's the tuna? But the price of the new beer. Yeah. Uh, oh god. I have no tuna left. What's that one there? the blonde beer which is that one oh vodka forgot about the vodka Vodka, twelve, twelve. I reckon we get away with thirteen fifty easily. Well, it does look like it is bye bye left beer. No doubt about that. No, that's the wrong one. That logo changed then, didn't it? Did I just put the wrong one on there? I don't know if I just messed that up. You put singles on the six pack shelf. where it went wrong that's a different beer altogether
Okay, let's stick that order in. That should be enough stock to get us through the day. Let's go. We need the money back. You don't have a rack space for the six pack beer anymore. I knew something had gone wrong somewhere. Six pack beer. That's this one. The problem all the beer logos are all like hard to discern from each other anyway we're up and running with the beer a wonderful new refrigerated section <laughs> look at all this beer this is amazing i want one of those those kegs look amazing Price the uh, chips. Oh, no, you're asking. Uh, no, I didn't. And he's helping himself to them, isn't he? Look at him. What a scumbag. You're paying for them, pal. They're not zero cost. It's the first man to buy some beer from us. Ooh, two bottles of vodka, love. That's going to be a good evening. And some eggs. Happy Easter to you. <laughs> Not what I found on my desk. I don't know where it came from. Oh my god. Dude, I'm trying to open a Freddo here. No respect. You need to buy a bottle of vodka as well. It's compulsory. They do multiply, although because it's Easter now, they stop multiplying, you see, Adam. That's a lot of tuna. Blimey. I'll crack the egg. Happy Easter. <laughs> See, tuna is super popular. That it, dude. You can always spot the I want some change person. They just buy one thing. Two bottles of vodka, two boxes of sugar, two packets of tuna. Oh, 
I feel sorry for his stomach. I fired the other cashier so we could do till work. Something about cheese. I think she was moaning about the price. It's dark down there, isn't it? That woman over there just bought loads of beer. Oh, so Lord, thank you for 16 months. Lots of toilet roll, lots of cereal, <coughs> lots of cheese. Hey Paul, do you sell kebab and a can of soda? I need to feed my raging dog. <laughs> I don't sell kebab yet, no. We don't sell cooked foods in the supermarket. Oh, three crates of beer. I'm coming back to your place. Complaining about cheese. Apple juice and beer, what a great combo. I don't see any restocking going on, which means we've probably run out of stuff. Wait, is, one, is that one box on there or two?
That's too many, but there's only one left in there. Okay, how much does that come to? 2,700. It is an expensive restock. It's all right, we're great, we're getting money. Not. I'm tired of more of these. How can there be 145 bottles of beer in those little boxes? I feel like some of this stuff has not been delivered. Uh, how much does it charge to place them twice on the shelves? So the default on the mod is quite expensive. It's like $140 or something. You can edit the file. So I edited it and halved it. So I get charged about $8 delivery and then $80 to deliver it into storage. So it's quite a hefty markup. But I'm happy to pay for the convenience. Um, I'll tell you what I didn't look at, what prices went up and down. Uh, cake went up. What do you mean, Bully? You can make it bigger again. Well, maxed out in storage. I need to make a lot of profit now. Oh my god. I'm just having a party. She just put two massive casks of beer in that bag. <laughs> that guy there in the suit got like a schoolboy tie on. I've eaten too much chocolate. I need to stop eating that chocolate.
You should be able to sell um, headache tablets like paracetamol. So you can put it right next to the vodka and beer. <laughs> well, there you go. We also sell headache tablets. I don't know, Captain Flint. I've eaten... That's all that's left of that egg, including all the inside. I've eaten all of that. And now I have slight regrets. Well, that's, I'm trying to wash the, I'm trying to wash it down with tea now. You've not even started your Easter egg. Dude, it's Easter Sunday. When exactly are you going to start eating your Easter egg? That time is now. You can move into this queue pile, you know that. This queue is empty. Oh yeah, a cup of tea with chocolate is lovely. Thing is, these people keep ringing the bell at a tell, and I don't even see the bell. Like, where is it? You waiting for massive discounts on chocolate after Easter? Nah. You think they do that? I don't think they do that anymore. How close is unlocking the third cashier? Dude, I'm only using one cashier. <laughs> Why do I want a third one? Lots of beer, good man. Good evening, Paul and chat. Just back from driving Easter steam trains. I enjoyed driving the engine, but the passengers refused to give me any Easter eggs. Sklridge are well. I'm here now anyways. Sklcheese, Sklros. Chris, why would they give you Easter eggs for doing your job? Which you've already been paid to do. You're enjoying yourself driving your little steam train and, and you're expecting these children to turn up and give you Easter eggs. Like, really? <laughs> you get paid. Well, okay, so you're a volunteer. You volunteer because you love it.
I'm glad you've enjoyed your steam training. I'm gonna get rid of that. Whoa, that's just um not emptied at all. The trouble is it takes ages for them to fully restock. Even three of them. Yeah, I need, I need uh, like, stalkers on roller skates. Focus on the stock room looks like massive accelerator from the mod installs. Hey, you made a profit. Amazing. Eight pack of eggs is up in price. Where's the eggs? Three thousand dollars of stock. Yikes. There you go. So look, eight dollars to ship it, eighty one to store it. Coming out of my profit. There you go. Now we've got no money again. Woo. Yeah, so the base game maximum storage goes up to... Um, what is it? Like here, I think it is? And that's all mod. This is your maximum stock room size. Probably put that to the. That's a being rude. Okay, somebody overordered. Um, Jeff. Oh God. Stockman down. There's only one way to fix that. <laughs> Lenny who? Lenny Henry? Must have like double added these. Leaving it out on the pavement, mate. You should see what the default game does. Where did this come from? is that? Is that the sweet? Is that them? 
Oh. Then. Oh, why well, won't it? There you go. I thought the floor was wet then. I literally don't know where anything is. I used to know where everything was in my own stock room, and then I moved everything around, and now I don't. <laughs> uh, Mickey. Sunday braising beef Yorkshire pudding. I'm going to have uh, lamb and roast potatoes after, after the stream, so enjoy your uh, Sunday dinner. Yeah, Viking. So basically the default game, um, when you order stuff, just throws it all over the pavement and the road. The mod stacks it up in nice columns, ordered by size. But the other mod puts things into storage if you pay. Um, but if the storage is full, it leaves it outside on the street. Because they don't know where to put it. There's Atomic Man. He's back. Do you know what? He actually, like his face and his eyes, he looks like, um, what's that film? Where he's like a blue, he's a blue character, he's bald like that, he's all blue skin. What's it called? And he can just travel across time and stuff. Oh, I can't remember the name of the film. No, not Vin Diesel. No, not Doctor it's a film. And he's literally like nuclear watchmen. Yeah, watchmen. That's it. The, the, the blue character, Dr. Manhattan, that's the one. Dr. Manhattan, our watchmen. It looks like that. So many beer cells then today. Think of the yellow guy at Sim City. He was creepy, that guy. It looks like Jason Statham. <laughs> That's a lot of eggs. Blimey. You look embarrassed, love. Oh, there you go. She's getting the beer in. Don't look embarrassed. I know you're buying beer. It's fine. I approve. <laughs> Oh, 
I called her out and she went. Another day, another dollar. That bear seems to just to be quite quickly. Pipe's cake. Which is that? Is that that one? Yep. Market price four dollars. I reckon we could probably do four thirty. We'll make a profit today because I don't need to buy stock. We might run out of beer. Actually, how many um, management? Six three six out of nine hundred. I've still got to grind another two hundred and fifty checkouts just to get a cashier three. It's crazy. I don't know, Cool Tiger, it doesn't really make it clear, does it? Ian, 3939, thank you for 98 months. Lots of honey, lots of sugar, lots of exact change. I'd really like to add some pizza next. I think we need a freezer for that, and I don't really have a space for a freezer. Expanding that is going to get very expensive. I need shelf stuff next. <laughs> I swear, as soon as you scan the beer, they look down. For the small stall, I need a third cashier. I don't think you need it right now. Nah. I don't need to get a third cashier, but I was just curious as to how far along the line I was. Because it doesn't count scan... What the... How much beer? It doesn't... $203. Jeez. It doesn't count scanned items. It counts the checkout. So when you finish, that's one. And I've got to do 250 Can't believe how many kegs of beer she bought. <laughs> Party! You fired all the cashiers to ground the checkouts. What, as in both of them?
Someone just complained about the six pack of beer being expensive. Is that, uh, that one? 11th, uh... Not that expensive, is it? Two crates of beer, love it. Oh, five. I mean, 10 cents, you might as well just go and keep the change. They should let you have one of those little donation boxes here. <laughs> just put the, uh, the cents in it. They are faster on scanning. But that's not default game. Three lots of hand soap, sir. <laughs> that's true, Boltman. Nobody's on the phone, are they? You might as well have bought a six pack that guy. That beer over there needs restocking. I think we might have run out. No, I don't want anybody paying by check. Nobody does that. Who pays by check? I've not seen anybody pay in a supermarket by check for like years. I reckon he's coming here. Just the apple juice, sir. Uh, I need to put the... Um, oh, I need to go and grab that cereal so I can fix that. Where's the cereal? Let's have a look at the beer. I reckon we're out of kegs. No, we're not out of kegs. We've just not bothered to stock it yet. This beer seems fairly popular. the milk off that list. Hmm. 
Hmm. Curious. Okay, that's tomorrow's order sorted, I think. 3,984 profit. See, it's great when you don't need to buy stuff. <laughs> Six products found expensive. Chocolate, apple, cheese, and cheese. Chocolate, apple juice. And then, is it both cheeses? So that one looks okay to me. Okay. Somehow I managed to add an extra zap in there. And I don't know where the honey goes. The Right, so we've got a full stock room of five grand in our pocket. If we liquidated all that stock, we'd have quite a bit of cash. We want to get something on here. So we've got one, two, three, four shelves. Four and a half, five. They're getting behind on the restock, aren't they? I feel like somebody's bugged out. There's two of them. Where's the other? There he is. Spending your money on a resub instead of Easter eggs is a very healthy decision. I don't disagree, Boatmans. And I'm grateful for your decision. April Fool's tomorrow, isn't it? That's when we have to endure uh, various companies around the world posting tweets about amazing products and stuff. That is just a pack of lies. I'll just stay off social media. Be easy. Honey, beer, more beer, sugar, apple juice, tuna. Your stomach is going to love you. I kind of feel like April Fool's is a bit pointless now. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired of it personally, but it just feels a bit meh. The thing is, like, the rules of the game are weird, aren't they? It seems to vary from slightly humorous to almost sinister. I could make a profound comment on the state of the media. Lol. A certain tech YouTube channel already posted theirs. What, on March? You see what I mean about them just... That's against the rules. It's ridiculous. 
Can't post an April Fool in March. Three vodka left. They're getting behind, aren't they, these boys? They are really getting behind. Oh, because there's no vodka left. There's no vodka left. Go with a cheeky order. Oh, I think he just took it. Or did he take the beer? I can't work it out. Ha! Beat to it. Rockstar could easily clickbait people tomorrow with a second GTA 6 trailer. Oh! The thing is, they could legitimately just publish more GTA stuff, couldn't they? I don't think... Do Rockstar do clickbait April Fool stuff? I can't remember if they've ever done it. NVIDIA will. I guarantee you NVIDIA will. Because Jensen, Jensen thinks it's funny. Like, you can tell when Jensen's on stage, like... He will definitely think April Fools is the thing that he should do. With the, with a leather jacket on. Yeah. He likes that leather jacket, doesn't he? It's like, um, like, that's his trademark. Like, Steve Jobs back in the day used to have his polar neck sweater. That was his trademark. Jensen's, like, leather jacket. Like, I'm a biker. Oh, Jensen doesn't need bonuses, Jimbo. Jens Jensen's stock alone. He's not doing it for the money anymore. He's already stupidly rich. What was that? They were complaining about something down there. Did anybody spot what he was complaining about? Is that what he said, Imp? I, I think he stood over there near the fridge and went, I can't believe it's not butter. I think that's what he did. Currently worth a shade under 82 billion. I mean, that's just like silly money, isn't it? It's, it's money beyond comprehension there. He could buy a country for that money. Thank you, Blakey.
There's no option to repaint the walls, but there is a mod. What's Bezos' is worth? No idea. Man, they're out of water. What are they doing? Guys, come on. Wait, oh, rip. Okay, I may have screwed up. May have forgotten that I wanted to empty that. Ignore me. Not to see here. That beer there looks a bit low. Is that that one? Honestly though, it's a little bit of faff that the they bring a box in, they unpack it, and then they have to walk outside and dispose of the cardboard. But actually what you would do is you bring a trolley full of stuff in here, unpack it all, leave the boxes on the trolley, and then push the trolley load of cardboard away and throw that. Nintendo normally does a funny one too, but seeing those boomers have a very specific form of humour, it's, it's terrible. Mm. I don't think of Nick's in a Nintendo one. I'm surprised we made profit. Dishwasher and four pack of eggs. Try for 270. Oh, the stock. It's going to be expensive day. Yep, it's going to be an expensive order, this one. Okay, what does that come to? <laughs> 2,400. Alright, open, open. Close. Six grand in a full stock room. Not bad. Uh, CSJ, thank you for 94 months. Six months till I turn to 100. Noise. Thank you for subbing with Prime as well, Breaky, by, uh, by the way. Thank you. Rob Juice, thanks for half a year. Did I get a new mic? Uh, I don't know. I've had this one a while.
It's not a chair stream, calm down. The door had blown wide open. <laughs> I left the door open a little bit just to get some fresh air in and the wind just opened it up. Be cool if they open the fridge doors. No, Jimbo, thanks to a mod. Basically, thanks to a mod, I can pay to have the stock moved indoors. Basically, you bung the delivery driver $80 and he puts it on the shelves for you. No questions asked. Blakey, you have entered one of the nicest communities on Twitch. I love that one. Did you, did you see that? I keep seeing that. They've decided which queue to come to, but sometimes they know that person's in front of them, so they just stand there and let the person through. It's so bizarre. And completely unrealistic. That's a lot of toilet roll, love. Why can't we sell bin bags? We should be selling bin bags. Exactly, she thinks we're going into lockdown, so she's just buying all the toilet roll. I do remember lo lockdown with toilet roll, though. I remember thinking to myself, you know when there was like a buying crisis and people were just buying toilet roll? And you're thinking, hang on a minute. You, never, you take toilet roll for granted, but... When it was in lockdown, you suddenly realised you might not be able to buy it. You suddenly realised how important toilet roll is. <laughs> like, hmm. And everybody wanted one of those Japanese toilets where you don't even need toilet roll. <laughs> oh, it was super annoying. But it did make you stop and think. These things that you take for granted. Did he give me anything? What did he give me? Must be a magician. Never had a B day. I think social media was responsible for a lot of the buying crazes that happened. It's weird, isn't it? Like, lockdown starting to feel like a weird, distant memory. Like, it wasn't that far away, but it's kind of out of your mind a bit. It's like, I'm, if you watch a program now from that era and you see people in face masks, you're like, oh, man. Four and a half years. Well, since the start of it. February 2020, wasn't it? When the when the lockdown started. Which is literally just over four years now. Um, so Blakey, you've got a few options about streaming. Mostly it's weekends when I stream. But if you want to um you can either go to the website, scroll.tv, which will have the schedule updated every week, or 
since you've subscribed, if you use Discord, you could join our whoops. Join our Discord server. You join the sub Discord server, which is full of friendly people. And it's fully moderated. And in there you'll find the schedule will be posted. You can choose to have it notify you. And you'll also see when videos go live, etc. That's another option. If you use Discord, if not, go to Squall at TV. Or you can look on your Twitch app, it shows the schedule there as well. Lots of ways. It gets updated roughly midweek. A lot of vodka and coffee, mate. I like your style, sir. I like your style. No idea, mechanic. I, I, I really don't know what started it. The funny thing is, though, is like... It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, isn't it? That was awkward. Don't come back. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If somebody says, oh, everybody's panic buying toilet roll, people start to go out and start buying toilet roll. And then people notice that the shelves are starting to empty, and then it very quickly spirals out of control. That's what they were saying. Cheese. They don't like the price of the cheese. That one. I mean, how much would you like to pay for the cheese? Lots of eggs, sir. Lots of eggs. Yeah, the fuel buying crisis. I, I've lived through multiple fuel buying crises. And they're, they're all really annoying. Like panic buying fuel. To come talk pair for each row from the office. I think a lot of people did that. That's a massive drop in price. Not happy about that one. If I just stocked up, how on earth are all these shelves empty? That's weird. It feels like sometimes this thing doesn't add them.
I'll tell you one thing lockdown did start was like a craze for people either going out living in the countryside like wanted to move out of town and just go and live in the country etc or this like camper van craze where people were just converted because they couldn't go anywhere for holidays they were taking camper vans and just converting them into taking vans and converting them into camper vans so they could go on holiday and that seems to have continued quite a bit in the UK anyway and I was at the um I was at the Everything Electric show on Thursday and they had a few of these like electric camper vans so there was one of them I think it was um I think it was like a Volkswagen camper van or, or what they do is take like an electric Volkswagen camper van and then kit it out so they put in like a kitchen unit and a bed and all the rest of it flip up roof etc and it's all very nice you're thinking oh that's quite nice and so you realize a few things first thing I noticed was the price Imagine just a, just a small camper van, an electric one, but it's been kitted out. So it's got a bed in it with a bit that lifts up you can sleep in. It's got a small sink. £96,000. £96. I was stood with Mrs. Squirrel and we were looking at it and she's like, oh, this is nice. And I saw the price on the front. And as I was saying it, the guy came over to talk to us. And I said to Mrs. Squirrel, do you know how much that is? £96,000. £96,000. And the guy looked at me and said, well, how much, would you how much would you like to pay? And I was that far off giving him a response. But I thought, now nah, I just I just walked off. Mrs. Squirrel carried on talking to him. I was like, yeah, I'm done here. <laughs> 96 grand, see ya. And the best thing is, she came back. Afterwards, she'd finished chatting. She said... Do you know what? She said, it, it doesn't have a toilet. I said, are you kidding me? And she said, and it doesn't have a shower either. I said, so wait a minute. You spent, you meant to spend £96,000 on a camper van. And you, you can't even like have a wee in it. Never mind a shower. So you've got to stop somewhere. Like, come on. 96 grand? And you can't wash. <laughs> and you can't go to the toilet. All you can do is sleep in it and cook some stuff. Absolutely nuts. So basically just no water facilities on board apart from washing plates. I was thinking, what are you paying for here? Like, what? Who's gonna buy this? Is it just because it's electric? It's so expensive. It's just insane. Anybody who's got that kind of money to blow on a camper van is not gonna get that. For less money than that, you can get bigger vans with all the stuff inside. They're not electric, but they've got everything you need. Well, the thing is, I, don't, I didn't even look at the range of it, actually. I don't actually know what the range was. I bet the range is like 200 miles or something stupid. Well, I think the idea is that you go you go to campsites and you basically plug it in. So you know like where you'd plug a caravan in? I presume the idea is it's meant to be driven to a campsite and plugged in and they'll have toilet facilities. 
But at that point, you might as well just drive there and pitch a tent or something. <laughs> because you've got all the same facilities as a tent, as far as I can tell. I, I just didn't get it at all. Is it the VWID buzz? I don't know, dude. Um, hang on. Let me... Got some pictures, I think. Let me bring up my phone. I think I've got pictures of it. You might be able to... Work it out. I did see some cool stuff, though. There's some really funky vehicles. Uh... Stop putting things on my tail. Beer and chocolate. Nice choice. These people won't leave me alone for two seconds. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that one. Here it is. Okay, this may... This is a bit green in colour, so this may get chroma keyed out. Yeah, I thought it would. <laughs> It's a VW, and it says D-Van on the front. Well, I got the label. I should have photographed the label. There's the inside. That's what the inside looks like. It's got spin-around chairs and stuff. It does look nice inside. Literally have to turn my chroma key off for you to see this. One second. Where's my camera? Uh, uh, there you go. That thing. Is that an ID buzz? I don't know what it is. It's some kind of Volkswagen camper thing. Looks like that, basically. And then the, the inside looks like that. What, can you not see it, Captain Flint? Oh, hang on, overpressed. Like that. That's the car, or van, whatever you want to call it. And then... That's the inside. Yeah, it wasn't the best colour. But there you go, you see the sink? Like, seating space is great, you climb up in the roof and sleep. But there's not a lot else going on, really. This is fun. This is a company that takes old Land Rovers and then changes the transmission to be electric. It's just mad. So if you want a Land Rover, but you don't want the old diesel engine, you can replace it with uh, electric motors. What else have we got? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this thing of that. It's literally Pops' car. Oh, that is just incredible. 
There is some some cool stuff actually. One sec. Oh, these here. What are they called? These things. Look at these. So this is called the MEV, is it? I think it's called an MEV, right? That's one of its um that's one of its kits. Notice it's got like a box delivery on the back, as if it's made for a I don't know, a delivery. Bear in mind these are all electric. So it's basically like a posh milk float. That's the default ver version of it. The only problem is like they're really cheap, these things. They're really cheap. And they're like two seaters, but the seat doesn't go back quite enough for me. And there's not quite enough headroom. So I'm just a bit too tall for it. But I love the concept of these things. Because look, they you can kit them out in different ways. So it's got like a flatbed on the back of it. And you just buy whatever kit you want on the back. There's the inside. Yeah. Nothing to write home about. But... It's a practical thing around town. They're actually pretty, pretty fun. There's the box version again. So you imagine like if you're a Deliveroo driver or something, you can drive around and make drops in that very cheaply. Like the vehicle was only, I think it's like five grand or something. Recognize that. <laughs> the electrified. The electrified this thing. It looks gorgeous. Look at that. Just amazing styling. <laughs> there you go. There's the, there's your pups mobile right there. That's called a carice. Or carries, however you want to say it. Two seater. <laughs> this, this is seriously, this is like, that car is so short, it actually looks like the image has been stretched. Don't you think? The, the image of it just looks so stretched, but it is actually that size. It's just, it's bonkers. This is what it looks inside. Hang on. That's the inside. It's actually a three-seater. The driver sits in the middle, and there's two little seats behind it. I sat in the front, and Mrs. Squirrel managed to sit in the back. So you, it, it's doable, but it's basically a three-seater electric car. <laughs> is that small white car Sean's car? Look at it. It's hilarious. I think so, Valencia. What does it say on it? It's called Do Good Motors. There you go. There's another view of it. <laughs> Three seaters. Absolute madness. Have we got anything else? Hang on, I'm just skimming through my pics. That's the oh, this is the uh Okay. So they basically take a Datsun, an old Datsun, like this, a Datsun classic, and then they stick an electric power unit inside and they call themselves silent classics yeah so it's literally a datsun 240z with an electric powertrain like that inside of that is absolutely bonkers there you go that's in 240. Classics reborn, it says. But it actually has the range on it there, 150 mile range, which I just think is ridiculous. Like, there's no way. 
150 mile range. Nobody's going to buy a Datsun 240Z with a 150 mile range in it. Some people are offended by the concept. Some people love the idea of it. It's a very Marmite thing. People who love classics and love, you know, the, the old... Well, they just love classic, classic engines, the noise they make, the fact that they're a pain and have to be maintained all the time. They love that. And there's other people who just love the classic style, but they don't want all the pain that goes with it. They just want a nice, clean, electric thing. And it's total Marmite, that one. Total profit, 1,000. Blimey. Eggs, beer, milk, and hand soap. Eggs, beer, milk, and hand soap. Don't know which milk it was, though. Maybe not that one. Eggs... Um, was it this beer? Or was it that beer? It's probably that beer. It's interesting though to see what what's what people are working on doing. Okay, that's about a stock situation. Pay the bills. Let's go. Now for the next license. I think we can probably do a license tomorrow because I have enough money to buy the stock and the shelves and all that kind of thing. We can get some more, some more stuffs. 380. Uh, nope. Don't believe so. Why? still make that Fiat 500 banner. I mean, the, the thing is about classic cars is ultimately they get very hard to maintain because you just can't buy the parts for them. They don't make them anymore. They don't make the parts anymore. It does get very difficult and so you know there is there is an argument for you know end of life stuff just putting a new powertrain in it and keeping the body in the chassis so you keep the classic car you just change what's moving it around it's not the same but it's either that or getting scrapped or just having all the oil drains out of it and putting a museum kind of thing Five hundred on a big refresh not long ago. There's an electric one. Um, that's a lot of beer, sir. Lot of beer. It 
It does depend on the classic car, I agree, but sometimes, you know, the manufacturers go bust or whatever, or they just don't make the part. It does vary. Like a Datsun 240Z, can you still get all the parts to keep that thing going or not? Or do you have to go like specialist companies? And also, as these, like, ULEZ zones and things get expanded, they're going to get harder and harder to drive around. Because, like, older cars really do loot a lot more kind of thing. Coffee and cake. It's like the old Mini's bender, isn't it? The old Mini and the new Mini are just worlds apart. I like the price of the keg, apparently. Yeah, I don't know, pups. Depends what it is, isn't it? Like, if you... I don't know, if you're... Something significant inside the engine block goes, it's going to get a lot harder as the car gets older to actually fix it. Look at him queuing up here. Been a while since we've had anybody do this to me. Sixty-eight, seventy. Oh my god! Find all the beer. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. If you're that kind of person that likes that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying about it being very Marmite. You work at the automobile repair shop, extremely busy. One fact is most people really can't drive a car that well. <laughs> and then there are some manufacturers that cannot keep up the demand for new replacement parts. Hmm. It's so horrible when you can't print money quickly enough, isn't it? I feel sorry for them. He always gets the bigger queue. I can't work out if it's because he's just slower. How many hours do you manage to get the 12k, Chris? I've uh, been playing it yesterday and today.
It's not about your cash, though, because... I often have money tied up in stock, you know? So, there's a lot of stock in here. But you've got to keep on top of it and reorder stuff. Look at the kegs of beer just disappeared. Just gone. We're going to need more keg space. Put the kegs there. Two thousand six hundred ninety-eight profit. Cheese is down. Eight pack of eggs is up. I'm not sure which cheese is down though. Let's get some stock in. Two, three, whoops, one misclicked. One too many chocolates, I think. Okay, that's better. Should be two more outside. Right, so do you want a new license then? I think we should get a new license now. Management licenses. So we can buy anything from these top six because we're level 34. We can get chips, flour, mashed potatoes, pepper, rice, sandwich bread, sugar powdered. We can get coffee, cheese, bottled water, eggs, pasta, green tea, and brown sugar. Why does it say sugar brown and tea green? Butter cereal, chicken, french fries, pizza mixed, and potato bag. I'm not sure what mixed pizza is. Crab stick, hot sauce, ice cream, chocolate ice cream, ketchup, mayonnaise, and cheddar pizza. That sounds fun. Moussaka salmon, scallop steak, large sushi, small sushi, and veal. Which has got lots of frozen items? Which one out of this, actually, is going to need a freezer? Because I don't really have space for a freezer. I presume the pizza. Pizza, fries, and chicken. Hmm. 
I normally want that then, because that's got pizza in it and chicken. That's going to need two freezers, or at least one freezer. Rice, salt, oil, peanut butter and flour. Cheap, but boring. Moussaka, is that in the fridge? Salmon's got to be in the fridge. Scallop may need a freezer. Steak. Fridge. Sushi. Fridge, fridge. Moussaka is a meal. So what? Goes on a shelf. Scallop is also... Is there any item here that needs a freezer? Yeah. NJ, honestly, the fact you don't get told this information is insane. Do we think anything on this license would need a freezer? If not, I'm going to go for that one. I need to be able to put it in fridges and shelves because that's what I've got space for. The steak, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping the steak goes in a fridge. If it needs a freezer, I might be in trouble. All right, let's go for it and find out. Let's try it. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, that's a lot of items. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have paid for delivery. That was stupid. Actually, I probably might need some shelving. Hmm. Steve Dog, thank you for 54 months. What are we dealing with here? I have one fridge space and then we are going to need more fridges can probably put a double and a single here maybe and maybe a single there or you could have a double that sticks out and a single there maybe double and a single and a single I think wrong I'm using mod swap line. Okay, got plenty of fridge space now. Uh, but do we need more shelf space? That's the question. Or do we just rejig what we have? A lot of it comes down to how big these boxes stack, doesn't it? Or whether I want fridgy stuff together. This is a beer section, that's the bread and flour section.
This stuff here is fridgy. I would have 24 in it if I did it like that. That's 48. That's enough for a day, isn't it? Okay, how big did they unpack to? That's fine. That's plenty. Although we might need a bit more stock, but not today. Okay, what's the next one? Um, why is that? Is that chicken or something? Is that sushi? Okay. I think we need more shelves, like... I could put them here, but this is like sugar. Sugar and chocolate and honey. It's all sweet stuff over here. Let me get a couple of shelves. I may have to do a dedicated fish shelf. Sixteen. Hmm. Put them there, get rid of that label. Twenty-four Musaka. All right, set the prices of these things. Twenty. Wow. Okay. Twenty-three dollars. Flipping the heck. There's three seventy five on there. This looks like a lamb chop or something. <laughs> Dude, can you just go away, maybe? Somewhat rude. Hang on, we can make more than that. 17 easily.
Blimey. Tw like 29 of them on one shelf. Flipping egg. That is mad. Can I set a price on that? Thirteen. It's not a lot of profit. Norway. <laughs> What's this though? Is that salmon? Loads of vodka out here, apparently. I must have over ordered on the vodka. Oh well. And then whatever that is. That looks like sushi again. Not the same as that, though. What is this? Is that a large sushi? Can't get many of these to the pound. It's annoyingly, I've put my sushi over here now. Kind of want my sushi though. I don't know how many they'll buy per day, that's the problem. I'm blind. Where's the vodka? I thought vodka was on this side. It's all beer. That's all beer. Flour and bread. I used to have... I removed it by accident. That would explain it. Would indeed explain it. Chocolate went over here somewhere. Right, let's uh, fill some things up. So we need a couple of vodkas. We need three of them. Three of them. Three of those. Okay, I don't have enough money for this. <laughs> that is a heck of a stock investment. Price of goods is going up. I'm still 400 short. I'll have to get rid of some salmon. Blimey. 
can afford it now. Okay, we've got some stock in. Well, we better open up shop. Are you telling me you've got nothing to do, pals? Wow, you're going to get fired. Okay, so here we go. It's quite a well-stocked fridge section, this. I just want to get that uh, that sushi here. I'm going to close that label off. I want, want to put that sushi over here with these two. You got the salmon and the sushi in together. I'd like to get the steak with the the veal, whatever it is. Okay. Cup of tea time after all that. You're selling a product to what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Twenty-seven fifty. These all got prices on them. So I did have eleven thousand dollars, and now I have nothing. And that's how this game basically goes. Your money just does this. You bought two extra fridges. Yeah, it's five hundred dollars. Future expansion, they'll get used. It'll definitely reduce the capital gains tax. <laughs> nice jacket, sir. Nice jacket. See, so you're a sushi kind of guy. Orange juice and beer. Interesting combo. Large sushi is too expensive for her. I mean, buy the small one or shut up. How about that? £26.90. There we go. There's a man who likes veal and beer. Really? Just some Cocoa Pops. Yeah, this guy wants the change. We know how it goes. You've got change for a hundred dollars. Tell you what, I'm glad you don't run out of change because that would be horrible. Oh my god. There's 
it's not been a bit of a run on the be on the uh, kegs of beer at the moment. They used to be really popular. The beer and the vodka. There he goes. Get some vodka. Get some beer as well, mate. You should get some beer with that. And some veal. And a large sushi. And some more beer. Have a good night. Treat yourself. Hey, you got to draw up sales. You bought a lot of vodka, to be fair. 156.90 is a nice purchase. Guy's a sweet tooth. I really hope they had um, interaction, like voice characters. You know, like Omsi, where they actually chat to you. That would be funny. Oh my god. This guy likes the beer and the coffee. The rush is over. Three thousand three hundred and eighty-nine. I reckon it took about three grand in sales. <coughs> so much stock we've got left. Rob Hughes, thank you for the bits. Wait, what? Where did they? What? <laughs> you what, mate? <laughs> Rob, thank you for 28 months. We own a shop in Salton, and this simulator makes me realize my staff are not working hard enough. Lol. Uh, Nikki World, thank you for 32. Ruttigan, thank you for the bits as well. Thanks for 39 months, Bruce. Fourteen products expensive. Apparently. Bottle water, dishwasher, and shampoo. That's probably okay now.
there's like loads of products apparently overpriced, but I don't know which ones without going through every single one. I need a table you can look at. So you might only be like a fraction over and just no way of knowing. Oh my god, I'm underselling this. Massively underselling this. What I mean is you need, you need a table in the game where you can just go list, like product list, and it just shows you MSRP, current price, percentage it's over or under. You know, red if it thinks it's overselling, green if it thinks you're underselling. And like an indication of what customers are complaining about. That's the kind of information you need to make a decision. It could be customers complaining about the same product, yeah. It could be like two products that are overpriced and they're just complaining about them. Or you might have multiple problems and there's just no way of knowing. The more products you get, the worse this problem gets. Try that. I'm literally guessing on prices. It wouldn't be so bad if it showed you. When you put a price in here, if it actually showed you what percentage that is over there. Or you could just say, literally just choose 5%. I want this to be 6% above market price. And then it, whatever the market price got set to, it would just automatically calculate it. I don't know a gangster about the auto price mod. I don't know exactly what it does. Like, does it refresh everything? I may have to do the auto price mod because it's actually crazy trying to manage this. I wouldn't mind doing it if it gave me the tools to do it.
Right, let's try that. Oh my god. Uh. It's like salmon, look at that. $630 worth of salmon. Actually insane. There you go. Back down to seventeen dollars. <laughs> it's just running on the bread line. <laughs> what's the um, what's the mod for auto pricing, or is there more than one? Maybe I need to look at that. Oh god, is it 8pm? Imp, I genuinely didn't notice it was 8pm. That's insane. Auto pricer mod. Look at that. Trigger a complete pricing update to the supermarket with the press of two keys. Press control R. Mod intelligent is just the price of your items you've set based on optimal profit rates, ensuring you're always earning a healthy margin. Blimey. It will modify all prices. Okay, I need I need to look at that one. That's quite a big change. Three lots of moussaka. Interesting. The last time I looked at the clock, it was like 5.30 or 6. And then I blinked and it was 8 o'clock. <laughs> it does sound a bit like that shifty. Like it's just going to set it to the maximal price. Toilet paper's too expensive. Well, feel free to wipe your bum on something else, you know? Whatever you fancy. I don't mind. Just not my toilet paper. No toilet paper? No? Okay. Some sugar. Yeah, we don't sell newspapers, unfortunately. And she bought a lot of sugar then. What is she doing? Come over, love. I can serve you. I'm free. <laughs> it's good. I reckon she's one of those mystery shoppers. Oh, she's she's finally decided. Yeah. Hmm. You should try doing it quicker, Jeff. That guy in the suit there, I'm watching him. I'm convinced he's stealing. So if you get yourself a nice suit, they don't suspect you. That's his plan. Soda and pasta, eh? Right? 
Uh oh, I think that's Atomic Man. Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> wait, 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 did she just walk out? I didn't see her pay. That woman in the red shirt, she just walked... That's two of them. I swear they didn't pay. It better had be a pathing issue. I feel like I'm being robbed here. I feel like people are helping themselves to the shop right now. I'm watching her now. Look, she's getting stuck. Something's going on here. Whoa. Sushi, honey, pasta, moussaka. This is going to cost 175. Quite a bit of vodka there, love. $80 on sushi, yeah? I'm telling you, something weird's going on here. I, I feel like we're not making as much money. I feel like people are getting stuff and walking out the shop. That's what it feels like. You know, we saw them walking through the wall before. Yeah, I don't think they've put shoplifters in yet, but... You can't put shoplifters in if you can't counter it. a lot of stuff. Two bottles of Zap. Hello, Jeff. That beer is not shifting anymore, and I don't think that vodka is. And I don't know if it's because it's overpriced or... That's not overpriced. That's barely above market price, same with that. It's just not selling. Very, very odd. Eight items overpriced. Total profit, 423. That's after buying three and a half grand's worth of stock. So including just straight overheads, forget the supply cost. 
We're making about three seven, three thousand seven hundred profit. Eggs, oil, cleaner, and ale. Right. Some days not to supply much. Yeah, but you still it catches up with you, doesn't it? That is that, I'm afraid. It's quarter past eight. Another day down at Squirrel's Cash. <laughs> I should be back tomorrow, guys. Eleven o'clock. Uh playing something different tomorrow. We'll do some multiplayer stuff tomorrow. Uh, so thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you've enjoyed your Easter weekend. It is a bank holiday in the UK tomorrow, so uh, I am streaming tomorrow. And tomorrow is the last day. It's the first day of April and the last day of Yacht 9. <laughs> the Yacht 10 starts on Tuesday. And this is the design, the Yacht 10 logo. If you want to buy any merch for the Yacht 10 logo, have a look at the... Um, the store it's got all the stuff on there you can get hoodies and t-shirts etc um but yes i shall be back tomorrow at 11 o'clock and thankfully the clocks don't move tomorrow i reckon imp if anybody posts an april fool joke in the morning i reckon they should just get a slap what do you think no no it's the start of my 10th year although i have been streaming more than that I've been streaming since 2013, so. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I shall see some of you tomorrow. For the rest of you, enjoy your day. That's it for me. Take it easy. Love you all. Good night.